been fair and a gloom and a broken smiles oh no this is the time every chance led into this to this night to this thrill we're gonna be Take you back again tonight.
Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello everyone. And uh, welcome to session one or part one of Jailhouse Rocky. I am <laughs> very excited, very nervous, but very proud to uh, to show you this this little uh, special story we've me and my wonderful cast have put together. Uh, but we, before we do that, I want to just do a few thank yous um, and hellos. First of all, thank you, Cody Dragon Scale, for the follow. Welcome to the Vibe Band. How did you find us? And I hope you enjoy your stay. Also, thank you, Frankie, for the the resub. You are a bean. That, that was very sweet of you. Thank you. Um, yeah, hello, Hunter. How you doing? How is everyone going? Where I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm very excited. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, McConkey Squadron. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, AJ, for hosting. Um, you don't stay for too long. You gotta go and be gone in thirty minutes. You're gonna. No worries, Hunter. That's more than understandable. Feel free to. Uh, Feel free to take part in while you're here. We do have some special channel point interactions for this special event. Every character has like special um, character related reactions. There's also a very special set of lair actions specific to uh, Kasakawa Prison, which I will explain in a second. Um, yeah, hello, Sam. Hello, Georgia. Hello, Bag. Sorry, hello, Dog. I know, I know you like. <laughs> I call you Bag. If I just spammed hydrant now, could I drown cast before the session starts? You could try. I don't have enough water around me, but I feel like you'd want to save your points. Mostly. Where are we? Adrian see or oh, Adrian, can anyone use the Discord command or it's Yeah everyone. Um a lot of the commands that like especially the ones on uh, in my title, those are usable by everyone in chat. Yeah, it is just on a cooldown. Thank you for linking the uh, the task vods, uh, Hunter. Um, to those who don't know, TAS is the main campaign I stream. Uh, this is a special side story focusing on one of the characters who had to take a little hiatus. Uh, the central character, Rocky. Uh, this is focusing on his adventures in Kasakao Prison. Um, who else is in chat that I haven't said hello to? Also, I find you guys from Discord. Oh, cool. Which Discord, if you don't mind me asking? Because I am in many. <laughs> Hiya Carlos, how you doing? Um, but yeah, welcome to today's stream. Uh, it's, we've been, this has been something we've been working on for a while. I say, oh, hello, Nick. Hello. I just, I just saw your name. It was a pink, so I confused it with Sammy for a second. Um, but yeah, today, um, we've been planning this for like, I, it's been very on and off since January. Uh, and by that, I mean like, you know how like when like you have all the time in the world and then on the last week you decide to do everything at once that that's what happened um and i was i think i was saying to sam i could have an extra 152 days and i will still wait to the last day to, before i do everything and that's what happened but we were able to get almost everything in and i'm very excited to like show you all the things and play with this wonderful group of uh characters and players um but before I do that, I have a few things I want to say. Um, I thanked and helloed everyone. I also want to thank everyone that did check up on me. Um, and has been checking up on me over the past week. or And over the, co over the course of the entire prep for this. I have been uh, stressed. <laughs> but like, everyone has been super cool and super patient and understanding. And has given me a lot of space when I needed it. And I, I, I do appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Especially like and like yeah, everyone that like has reached out, I I really appreciate it. And like I I do I do uh, I don't do know who all the people are, so, and I I appreciate that. Um, secondly, um, we have sponsors. We have sponsors. We have many things. Um, so our first sponsor will go um is Bard RPG. Which is the project I was working on. Uh, I did art for uh, for the Kickstarter. Um, it's in its last few uh, days of um, being up. It's a genre agnostic um, compendium that is designed to help um, assist uh, with, um, with creating stories in your own D and D games or your own other TTRPG projects. It isn't specific to any one one game is genre and game agnostic it's a really cool thing and the art in in the book is stunning not in, like not even including my own art. um the next is dice roll which is a very cool uh sponsor 
that is local to us here in the UK, or local to me at least here in the UK. Um, and they have been very kind to provide us an affiliate link. Um, so if you want to grab some gemstone, metal, or resin dice, or and they've got some other cool like dice traders and other accessories available on this store, go, 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 go check them out. They they have some really cool stuff. Thank you so much for the hydrate, and thank you for the plastic check, AJ. Uh, next is Phoenix, which is Phoenix dice. Um, they also also do in uh, they also provide dice, um, but with them, we have um, I have a code TAS twenty twenty two, which you can get twenty percent off your purchase at Phoenix Dice if you want to go grab some dice or accessories, uh, such as dice trays, dice bags. They also have this um, uh, like dice a lucky bag mix that you can you can grab if you want. Next is Games by B which is a TTRPG's accessories uh, company that like create really cute uh, dice trays, bags, patches and pencil cases and other accessories for your D&D and tabletop needs when, you, when you're playing in person. And their code as well is also TAS2022. Hello, Daniel. So if you want to um, grab some of the stuff and get 10% off uh, your purchase, you can go check Games by B. Uh, next is Just Very Mundane, which is a hilarious podcast that has our very own Jacob. And I assume Saga uh, is his uh, co-host. I, I don't you know. I, I was been meaning to ask how to pronounce the, the second name uh, or the second co-host. Um, yeah, uh, Jacob does a bunch of cool podcasts and this is his uh, most, um, the one that he, he wished uh, to present and... Um, and just for a minute, yeah, it's it's one of it's the least ironic podcast, and it's actually one of uh, only two podcasts on the entire planet right now. So if you're if you're looking for something to listen to, I feel like you've only got you've got a very limited pool of choices. But that's one. The next is we're so fucking sorry, which is the other podcast that is. Oh, I didn't put the command. I just wrote sorry. <laughs> we're so fucking sorry. That's the uh, the other podcast, which has the wonderful Sam, who is also or Sammy, who is also uh, one of our cast members and uh, lucy who are a couple of best friends best buddies who have a very unique brand of chaos and just unleash it on uh, on the world in this very short bite-sized hourly format and they are hilarious i actually appeared on there once at some time let's, let's go check it out it's, it's fun we were meant to be talking about art but i think we started talking about Yu-Gi-Oh and cheese i feel like i feel like we were talking about cheese i don't think we were at the same time though i don't know who knows but yeah we're so fucking sorry go check them out go check out all the things and finally, Georgia Marjorie. GMJ is Georgia is uh, who plays Lone Nika on Thron Top Sands. She creates some stunning silver, uh, sterling silver pendants, rings, and earrings, and they're, they're gorgeous. Honestly, I even if like you're like you you don't you don't you don't buy jewelry or you don't wear jewelry, go check it out. They're gorgeous, and she's doing this really cool D and D themed uh, collection right now. Um, called the Silver Dragon's Sword, and like she's released, I believe, the Rogue, the Fighter, and the Dungeon Master. All of them fabulous, beautiful, beautiful sets of uh, jewelry. Go, go check that. Yeah, it's G. Um, that's all our sponsors. Um, but yeah. Uh, without further ado, though, let's 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 get into the, let's get into uh, Jailhouse Rocky. See you in a half second.
Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> Howdy, hello. Moby Dick. Hi. Moby Dick. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> yeah, Oswald, Awkward. you arrived just in time. Hello, everyone. Um, hello, Oswald Boz. Let me just do this so I can do the thing. Where is doing the thing we're gonna quickly before we get started we're gonna and before i set up the uh the campaign and all the things uh do you guys want to introduce yourselves i'm saying hellos sure. i'm, I'm nervous <laughs> it's okay you got this we'll go off, we'll go from the top instead not alphabetically rocky uh or jacob sorry Intru uh tell us about yourself and tell us about all your projects uh... Uh, I'm Jacob. I play Rocky. Uh, I feel like you've already known me because I have been in the main campaign for a bit, uh, and then I haven't been in the main campaign for even longer. Um, and you know, <laughs> I this whole the same time, actually. oh no, no, yeah, you're right. Sorry, my mistake. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm Jacob. I am the host of a podcast called Just Very Mundane. You can do exclamation point JVM. There we go. Um, I do other many projects, but that's the thing that I feel like has been the most consistent as of now and has been something I'm working on right now. Um, so I highly recommend checking it out. It's just kind of a bad advice podcast thing where me and my uh, my former former roommate, uh, we just kind of make jokes and have fun. Um, uh, that's I do, uh, do I do I need to say more? Uh, what else? Uh, Not so good. Keep on oh, talking, man. <laughs> Keep on talking. <laughs> Oh, uh, I love. Uh, 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 <laughs> I love you too. I, I, uh, I, you, I, 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 you, I, 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 I already breaking. It's okay, Dory. You got this. You, you know, you know, you as AJ said. And like, like Chad says, also, I gotta say, cats, please take a job. I, I will. Oh, I'm, after post session, Clary, your boy's conking out. Yes, for the love of God. <laughs> After Sleep. a game of Sea of Thieves, maybe. Uh, next, Sea of Thieves. Uh, sea of Thieves. <laughs> sea of Thieves, bro. You're Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Trilogy now. The, the was, was we haven't the even started yet. That's going to be yeah, the third game. one. <laughs> sea of Twos was the second one, and Sea of Threes is the third oh one. <laughs> you guys know? Uh, yeah, that's a new one coming out. But yeah, next on the list, we're going to do AJ and Rand uh, Sam together because they're a part of a thing called time. McClunky Squad. Sorry, we're going to speak at the exact same time. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. You would have said. One, two. Uh, Three. My clan. I am. I'm. Oh, oh okay. Uh, introduce yourselves. Oh, my bad. <laughs> do it again. All right. Three, two, one. My clan. Oh, Clunky. what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. That sounds about right for the show, please. Thank you, uh, GameTime yeah, B, for Sam the retweet. From... Uh, I'm Sam from McClunky Squadron. We do D and D stuff, gaming stuff, and talk about shows like DC or not DC, but Marvel and DC. <laughs> 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 DC nuts. <laughs> that's... Uh, yeah, like Star Wars and Marvel shows and stuff of the like, but uh, yeah, that's that's McClunky Squadron. McClunky. I'm AJ. So I'm also I did a little bit, yeah, a short <laughs> one, so that AJ can do more. Uh, uh, we're, we're playing a bunch of stuff. Uh, we have a lot of things lined up. More shows coming up from Marvel and Disney Plus. More games to be played. More funny stuff to be said. Um, maybe stuff that might get us canceled, as with the last <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh my god, we don't we don't know. Every stream is a gamble. We never know. <laughs> wow. Next on list Whenever is. Whenever you have tantrum, oh, it's, it's you never know. Oh, it's it's something. <laughs> yeah. McClunky. Let me. I forgot her. Uh, Tune in every Friday for our for our Roro stream. Is did, did I change the command to McClunky? Oh, I I also would like to uh, mention. Yeah, McClunky Squadron are also producing this, so it's not just a Casa DM production. It's also McClunky Squad. Um. So yeah, go check them out. Uh, I'm also one of them, so it's it's not a conflict yeah. of interest. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Um. Next not on list, all. Sammy. Hi, I'm Sammy. I usually stream on Twitch. I got a little bit of an introduction because I do also a uh, co-podcast. Mm -hmm. We're so fucking sorry. The mm -hmm. best or one of the best podcasts on the internet. Hey, yo. Uh, and I'll be playing Taya today. Out of the two, there's, I mean, yeah. There's yeah, two. Exactly. There's huh. mine and Sam's. <laughs> <laughs> the only two podcasts that matter. Mm. And then next is Epi. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Epixel or Epi. Uh, I'm an artist and a longtime D and D player, and I'm so stoked to be joining Kaz on uh, Jailhouse Rocky. Just Kaz, she hates the rest yeah. of us. Oh yeah, I can't stand the rest of you. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Honestly, relatable. 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm very excited. All right, I'm just gonna z zoom in on the things, and then we're gonna we're gonna stray into things. I'm just gonna change the music in a second. Uh, if I find the music I want, because I can't find it right now. There you are. But yeah. Um. Welcome, everyone. This is gonna be a th little short three-part story, and uh, we hope you enjoy. See ya. All right. <clears throat> Let me just zoom in on Kasakawa. So yeah, uh, adventure starts in, or this little part of the adventure starts in, inside of the giant mountain range of Kasakawa, or the within a hidden, um, a hidden chamber that's inside the the mountains that's been used as a prison factory, uh, the Kasakawa prison factories. Um, to those that watch Throne Top Sand will have heard of, or those that like are from the mainland of Australia, they will have heard of the Kasakawa uh, brand of uh, forged and mechs and just technology. Um, but they have a little, little dark secret. Working with the Hyden government, they have made their factory into a prison using inmates to um, to become essentially workers and work for free to and work while they are serving their time and during during um the um first few sessions of throne top sands rocky uh, our our urchinasi that was traveling with the main uh caster characters had um had been apprehended uh, at the gate of isoto um mainly for being a urchinasi in a place that isn't accustomed to urchinasi and uh he as someone who is a person from a strange place as he is also from uh the land of ranslock he uh he's they 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 did not they, they didn't take take to rocky very well and so immediately he was upon realizing that he was both a, a foreigner and a urchinasi they uh they arrested him and shipped him off to a uh, Kasakawa prison factory, and over that uh, that journey uh, over by uh, by boat, they uh, a few days have passed, and um, we 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 start this story within the uh, within the kitchens of um, of the prison when the map wants to load, where Rocky is seen working with oh you know i do with i do we don't want to do this i want to introduce your characters first but yeah before we go <laughs> exactly into all the things uh let's introduce the characters because i forgot a playing um randall would you like to introduce your character and tell us a bit about them uh randall is a dragonborn uh but more uniquely a gem dragonborn uh, he's black colored and w uh, in this prison outfit he's got it's pretty basic and stuff so it's his uh, entire top is exposed uh shining and gleaming and all the in the, all the lighting in the place down his arms is chipped away gem revealing an under uh a blue crystal underness to it and uh yeah I'm just in the kitchen right now chopping up some carrots mm -hmm. and all that Next we have Moran. I'm just gonna put all the all of the characters up on screen as well because I should have had those ready. But yeah, uh, and then we have next on the list is Taya. Sorry, actually no, we'll go, we'll keep you in the kitchen. Moran, tell us about your character. Definitely, uh, Moran is a Kieran-born Tiefling. Um, she has long dark hair, pale yellow skin uh, with reddish or coral-colored horns and fins. Um, she has a very serious face and she is quietly doing her work. Um, she is dressed in a, a modified version of the prison outfit which was afforded to some of the people who work in the prison shrine. Mm -hmm. We have our Randall. And then, yeah, they're working... Those two, uh, the Dragonborn and the Tiefling, are both working in the... Uh, the the uh, the kitchens with uh, with Rocky. We're gonna move over to the canteen for a second. 
uh, so I'm just going to hide them off screen for a second. As we slide on over. Tell Taya, in, uh, could you introduce, or Sammy, could you introduce Taya for us? Yes, Taya is a she and elf that's often trying to blend in with the shadows. You can see by their uh, prison garb, they're a little bit less assuming, they're trying to stay out of the way, and they're probably just chilling in the calf right now, trying to not cause any problems, just vibing, you know. And then tell us about Kano, AJ. Kano is a uh, tiefling half orc, so he has uh, he's half orc, half tiefling. Uh, he uh, was once a wrestler turned gangster turned now prisoner uh, through a series of unfortunate events, uh, and he has golden fists. He does. Have uh, fists. Uh, in his wrestling days, he was called the Cannon, so that's the name he continues Give with me now. A second. Look at that art, folks. Look at that. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll just pull up all the characters because I should have done that sooner. Let's move Randall over here for a second and then pull up Rocky. So yeah, uh, they, they are our characters. Um, but we're going to go back to the kitchens when I uh, finally get Rocky's art. Rocky, 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 Rocky. Yeah. Cannon the... is very buff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cannon is a buff boy. Very oh, large. Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> Rocky's face just popping up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rock there's, scare. There's a there's a, there's a couple bunch. Yeah, let's let's do that, and let's let's zoom zoom on over to to the kitchen group. So yeah, uh, Randall, uh, Moran, and. Uh, Rocky, you are working with a green tiefling and a uh, fire genasi inmate who are also just like working in the kitchens with you, just doing their menial tasks. You'll see them go uh, darting towards the the uh, the fridge, um, pulling out a few ingredients. Uh, the fire genasi just slicing away um, with Rocky, while the tiefling is just washing some potatoes. And you can just see um, on some screens over here, amongst all the clutter. Um, just like the various orders that like need to be filled and like what needs to be prepared. Um, give me a second as I, my thing needs to reload. All my notes. I had everything ready but my notes. <laughs> That's the least important bit, so you're fine. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I told you about how my mouse is really annoying when like I click a bumper, it goes back. It just like I yep. finished loading and then it went, nah, go back. Oh. Or are we canteen, 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 canteen? So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the, uh, as you're like, you're looking at the orders, you, you, although it's, there's the fires going and like, it would normally be very hot in the kitchen. Um, you, you, you guys have been accustomed to how cool it is. It's, um, it is ventilated and like, there is like air circulation that's like magically happening through the, um, through the room. Um, and like you can hear like the noise of um, you can hear the noise from uh, muffled through the doors on your side here. If I pull, you can hear just, uh, the the um, the inmates on the other side just just chatting away and doing their uh, uh, and just having their lunch on the other side of those doors. And on the other door on the 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 left the um, the west side, that goes towards the fridge. Uh, and that's where a lot of the air or the cold air is coming from. And like you can just see littering the the walls on the back or on the side, sorry, are just like crates and just like produce that have just been shipped in and brought in for you guys to um for you guys to manage um and prepare. You got them a Is that you cutting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 too thin, too thin. Chunks. You want to come in chunks, the fire genasi says. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, Beautiful. I'm just going to turn you down just a smidge. 
Um, Moran is forearm deep in a giant bowl of rice, uh, washing it. Uh, Randall notices Rocky over here having some issues in, in his cutting style. And... I, I am not having it. I'm fine. I'm doing great. You see, he, he says you're cutting them too thin, buddy. Yeah, he, and then he's I cutting too thin. Look, they're, like, they're chunks. They're chunks now. I can make them into chunks. Yeah, yeah, now. no, no, those are chunks now. But like, I did, I admit the first little bit too thin. All right, but they're chunks now. I have corrected myself. I don't need anybody else. I got it. Okay, I'm good. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Why don't you cut it? Fire Janassi. I mean, Randall, come on. Like, when when you oh, you didn't you didn't have to pair me up with the Urchinasi here. I I, I I I feel it's a bit of disrespect, honestly. Like, what? <clears throat> How so? How is that? Well, I mean, disrespectful. Well, one, you're an Urchinasi. Well, uh, but. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm sorry I didn't get the cultural things. I'm not from around here, to be honest. So, hey, neither well, am I. You go. Well, that also doesn't help. Yeah, you, you're, you're not, you're not you're not from here, uh, and so you don't know all all the little things. So, you, like, I feel like it's like you should be washing dishes, not cutting onions and cutting potatoes. Look at him. Listen, man. Listen, man. I may not be from here, but we have ended up in the same place that we are now, working in a prison kitchen. So, I feel like whatever you did. Ain't much better. All right. So how about you go ahead and stop uh, bothering me about the little semantics of, uh, you know, racism and go ahead and just uh, uh, do your job. I would appreciate it. He just looks at, looks at you very angrily. And like you can see the fires in his head start flaring up. But then he All right. Chill out, hot head. See, uh, see, now he's saying offensive things. Randall, what? tell him. <laughs> He's the one that said I should be all doing right, this. All right, please. both of you relax. I, if, all right. Do I gotta separate both of you and put you in separate parts of the kitchen? Yes, separate no. him from me. No, I wanna. I think me and him should work together. No, I disagree. I appreciate it. I think me and him do a great job if we work together. Personally, he, look, he, he like he's disgust <laughs> on his face, and like you smiling at him is like. It I just, just like, him like kind of like more. pull, I pull him by the shoulder and and just say like, look, buddy, go go down and work with Moran. I'll try to talk him out of being being so like rowdy against you. Okay. Talking. Uh, who, who are you talking to? Me or? Uh... I'm talking. I'm talking to the the fire Janassi. Sorry, I, okay. sorry I, I, he got stuck on you for a second. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's yeah, okay, he, buddy. He just walks past you and just gives you like a, a little mutter of thanks, but he still like just mumbles as he makes his way past. And like just scooches past the fire pit. I, he, like I he clearly him and smiled the whole yeah. way. He clearly like didn't want to go like like walk past you. He wanted to go like the as take as much of a wide breath as he can. And just like yeah, I like I snap in front of Rocky to like get him to stop looking at him. <laughs> All right, yeah, I go back to cutting into chunks. And then he he joined he joined G Moran, and then he just like mutters, "Can you can you believe this guy?" As like he like asks to help. I mean, I think it would be best if you didn't cause trouble in here. Hmm. He just he just pulls the face, and then just starts. Look, like the guards have already stopped by. We're under more supervision because of the tools we have. You can't be starting a fight. Meanwhile, the tiefling that's just washing the potatoes is just like looking around at like everything happening, and we'll just every now and then go towards Rocky and just give him a few potatoes. You're doing great, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> You're just a delightful <laughs> potato. You're doing. I love them. Thanks. <laughs> Whoever gets the luxury of eating these potatoes is gonna be. Oh man, they're gonna be so happy. I can assure you that much. So, sure. uh, <laughs> sure. So, sure. Randall, what, what, bring, what brings you to this part of the kitchen? I guess, <laughs> as like, <laughs> you know, he's been working here a while. He like this is like he he almost like leads the kitchen. A lot of like, a lot of the staff here respect him and look at him like almost like a leader. And like every way you seem to like find like Randall seems to be he also he does follow that fit that like role almost okay 
or at least has a lot of respect funny for funny you should ask why i like to be in the kitchen and stuff uh, well i actually found something of, of use in here oh but that's <laughs> i gotta know if you're if you're cool enough to know what it is though <laughs> I, I like to think i'm pretty cool my, myself um uh, is it like a like some cards or like uh Tattoo well, gun, tell, maybe. Tell maybe me about phone. yourself more. What what landed you in here? Racism, mainly. <laughs> Should <laughs> <lie>. <laughs> I shouldn't lie. That's my fault. Um, I would like to ask Moran, are you listening to their conversation? Oh, very intently. Mm. You like amongst all like the muttering of the racist fire genasi, you your ears do twitch and perk up. You notice the tiefling that's washing the potatoes. He's very much focused in on his potatoes. He's actually smiling as he's washing his potatoes, like from Rocky's uh, encouragement. That's nice. But his, um, hey, what's his name? Give me a minute. I gotta look at my notes. <laughs> potato. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> it's potato. It's ta hate. Oh. Hate. Potato boy. <laughs> It's not, it's not Yuka, is it? That's a different guy? No, that's a different guy. Okay, okay. yeah, because I thought it was Yuka too at first. I'm not going to lie. Mika. Oh, I already made that joke. Oh, <laughs> and Rika. <laughs> Oscar and Wika. Wait. Sorry, what? Uh, oh. I didn't actually find a name for him. Uh, but no, I was making a joke. <laughs> I was joining, joining with you guys. Oh, no, shoot. His name is Saki. Saki? Saki. Saki. Saki? All right. Saki? Yeah. He's he's worked in the kitchen a few times with you guys. Yep. All right. And he's... Saki's not keep listening, Saki. then. What was that? Sorry? Wow. So keep it up, Saki. <laughs> Thanks. Doing great. I give him some finger guns. <laughs> Go back to chopping potatoes. <laughs> what are you saying, Noran? Uh, I just... I just listen very hard. Yeah, like, you... He... Among Saki, yeah, like, uh, the morning of the fire genasi and Sashi, uh, Saki just, like, watching, watching the potatoes. You can hear, like, the water rushing as, like, from the tap. Uh, he's very much focused there. So you are the only, like, yeah, you're the only one that is, like, uh, aware of the, the conversation happening with Rocky and Randa. But yeah, continue. Sorry. Yeah, just, uh, so I was, I was trying to enter some gates, um, sitting nearby, and, uh, I guess I didn't have the proper documentation. And in general, they tend to not like Earth Genazi. Um, so they decided that the best uh, plan of action was to arrest me. Um, I, I had a cowboy hat. It was a whole thing. Um, but, you know. Um, I had know. a hat once, too. Hey, maybe one day you'll get your hat back. I'll get my hat. The dream. Uh, but what's that cool thing you're talking about? Back. Uh, I, honestly... If there's nothing else I get done in prison, that's what I want. Get my nice cowboy hat back. Uh, what brought you here, you know? Oh, you, you know, know piracy prison. and stuff like that. Pi piracy? <laughs> like you yep. you illegally downloaded? Or like... <laughs> you, you I mean, yeah, like I've done that a couple of times too. There's some songs <laughs> that you know you just gotta get... Ah, uh, LimeWire. I'm well aware. For that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But you know, uh... <laughs> Take it around uh, <laughs> illegal cargo and whatnot, usually. <laughs> oh, okay. LimeWire is not canon. I've got to make a fucking note of that. <laughs> All right, put it in Isoto. It's somewhere. I'm going to stand in between uh, Saki and uh, Rocky so that ha. I can be the person Rocky, handing Rocky. potatoes. Mm. Um, just so it's easier to listen. Yeah. I, well, okay. uh, upon seeing that, uh, Randall like, snaps at the fire genasi. And uh, fire genasi, replace Moran. You see him roll his eyes as he goes to like start washing the big pot. And Saki just starts see, handing you potatoes. You make the fire genasi wash the stuff with water. It's a real power move. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, uh, so, uh, what's, uh, you're, uh, I, I've met Moran, I assume it's already, right? Yeah, you guys, like, you guys all have all like, met each other, like... Yeah. Like yeah, like you, okay. you. I think like this would be the first time you've like had the confidence, even like want to like talk to, to Randa like this. All right, I don't think you know Rocky very well, but uh, Rocky's a very confident man. He is true. Uh, it's very true. <laughs> hey Moran, uh, thanks for being a potato mediator. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I saw that we were having delays. Oh, man. You're really, uh... You know, you're like the opposite of a rubberneck, and I really do appreciate that about you. <laughs> she looks like... She looks like she's been caught on the spot, you know? Like, like she thinks that Randall might be teasing her. Oh, I'm no. Happy to help. Why? You, you, you look a little... You okay? Uh, did I'm I say just something a potato wrong? Potato mediator, right now. It's all good. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can mediate my own potatoes if you need to go sit down. Of uh, no, I just. Oh, to be I, fair, you I, can't because you're cutting them too thin again. You're distracted. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my bad. It's, it's just. I have this really good skill of cutting like anything like as thin as possible, so it looks like you can like, you can basically see through it, you know. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. We're it's making... just something about me. Rocky, we're making stew, not chips. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I do like some stew, though. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. No, no, you can join, too. Uh, uh, what are you, Moran? What brings you around this, uh, why the kitchen? Did you choose to work in the kitchen yourself, or you just get forced down here? Oh, um, well, and she, she holds up, uh, her, her left arm, and she's got a bit of a, a burn on it. Oh. I was in the laundromat for a while and decided to move over here. I see. Um, I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, I Why? mean, is it healed I up? Like is it still? Duty. Oh, well, it's I mean, fine. I guess more of the burn is what I'm sorry to hear or sorry to see. I mean, uh, I think it's... kitchen duty is kind of fun, as myself. Potatoes. Agreed. As he potatoes. As he turns to give you oh. some potatoes. <laughs> Moran like, oh, and she, she whips around and grabs the potatoes real fast. Thank you. And he gets back to spinning. He moves further away now to go grab another bag of potatoes. Randall, how well, did the kitchen become your domain? Uh, well, through a series of uh, un, uh, un unfortunate circumstances for other people in the kitchen, I managed to walk up the chain. And, uh, when got you in say here. unfortunate circumstances, I don't walk think we want to go into it. <laughs> uh, that's ah. funny. Walk, walk up the chain, like it's that, like a walk. You know, like that's a that's a fun little kitchen pun. <laughs> you got a good joke, joke uh, roster on you. <laughs> <laughs> Always, do. I'm filled with them. <laughs> a joke you could say. Moran is now convinced that Randall has, you know, crippled all of the line cooks to become the manager. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that look. I know what you're thinking. As you gasp. As like the the radio starts just uh, blaring some some fairly jazzy poppy music right now. Yeah. Um. Hi. Yeah. No, I just, I just wanted to tell you about the music because like there's a radio here and I wanted to say something. I've been looking at it. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, it's, you can hear the music come from the top of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> sure, she can get sued. You bow. <laughs> I don't know what I don't even know what song I would sing. Again. <laughs> unassuming jazz number five. Um, do, do, do. No, that's that's fine. But yeah. Um, oh. Is there any other kind of comes any other conversation you guys wanted to have? Uh, Moran. Well, I mean, uh, Moran. What uh, brings you in the prison? If that's not too personal, I'm just I'm a nosy little guy. Pretty personal question. Well, I, I mean, have you, no you idea. You told me, I told you. You, you oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry for came bringing it up. Down into the valley, I okay. barely had rented a room for a night before I was seized and taken here. So, if you find out, I'd love to know. Uh, I'll certainly keep an ear out, uh, just in case I find anything. I'll go back to cutting potatoes. <laughs> You're doing a lot better now. <laughs> and I was like, Don't go too fast. Thing. I know, like, it's like Moran just like moving everywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. To, I'm going to the kitchen. Oh, I'm not sure why it's uh, glitching like that. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Whoa. Right. But yeah, uh, we're He's gonna zooming. we're gonna we're gonna cut from uh, from Rocky cutting some uh, potatoes. Moran t poses and clips through the floor. <laughs> she does. She just falls through the floor for a hot second. We're gonna um, cut over to Taya and Kano. As Taya, you sit uh, in the canteen. You're sitting. Um, you're just seeing a bunch of like other 
inmates just going about their business, eating their meals. Uh, some of them on the line. You can see the the food that's been prepared. Let me pull up one so I can tell you what the things are. Like the um, like the kitchen. This room is also fairly cool and uh, well ventilated, and you get just a bunch of noise coming off uh, all the the inmates. And you just get the smell of the kitchen wafting in every now and then. You can smell just potatoes frying and just the other foods wafting down. Um, the <clears throat> amongst like the cold, sterile environment that is um, this underground uh, prison. The as you like are looking at the food line in front of you, you can see there's uh, is walled by a sneeze guard that like some of the staff are like behind and they're just plating the food for the people on the other side of the the, the sneeze guard. And you can just see like the uh or oh, and you when you pass by you, you saw the uh the variety of food was okonomiyaki i got it right uh there's some onigiri rice and roe omelets and like there's chicken pork and beef cutlets just uh no served uh fried tofu some milk bread and smoked salmon but like when you i like you've been here a while and like every time you've gotten something although like it seems like it'd be nice every time you eat they the flavors feel very muted um I was about to say that spread sounds amazing. Exactly, it's you'd think it's nice, but no, it's very disappointing. In how uh, whoever cuts the potatoes just isn't doing a good job. They're not. You can, and you're not just too thin, not too thin, Rocky. <laughs> you can just hear through the doors. You can. Yeah, just... I think. I'm sorry, go. On. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, go. On. I think Taya would have gotten up and gotten like an okonomiyaki or something, something unassuming and uh, grabbed a seat. They're sitting at this table with someone else, but <clears throat> at the other end, so it's like not really associated with. And they're mm -hmm. trying to like, I don't know, Taya's just kind of chowing down a little quiet. Um, Taya does see Cannon in the corner um, yeah. and knows that they have to talk to them at some point, but doesn't really know how to approach the table. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just kind of watching, seeing what everyone's doing, yeah. making sure that no one's gonna do anything weird, because Taya's always on edge. Mm -hmm. And himself right now has, like, his fists up against, like, his cheeks, and you see his eyes closed as he just lays the- or, like, rests there. I'm gonna Can't... say, after eating a little bit, Taya moves to a closer table. Mm -hmm. When when you make your way to this table, uh, could both these roll a perception check also? Um, oh, but yeah, Taya, you as you make your way across to this table, you see someone you recognize. This is this blue tiefling here. You recognize as Nobu. Um, you recognize them as a like they're a blue tiefling with their antler horns that kind of curve and like move like water almost. Um, as their icy blue skin. Um, matches very nicely with their light pink hair that like is kind of like just boxed up and just like in like three different points on their hair almost similar like identical to like how his uh, tail is presented which you can assume he combed the mane uh, to look like and you can see the um, over his prison uniform you see him wearing like this like maroon um howry uh, which is like a jacket uh, uh and you can see Amongst it is like this um, blue snake-like uh, pattern uh, that like coiled around different areas of the um, of the clothing. As you can see, him just setting up uh, some cards and some mahjong tiles amongst uh, his tea that he's also like uh, preparing for himself that is still boiling hot. And he sees you step by and uh, sit at his table, and he just tusks at you. Ah, Nobu, lay off it. We all know you're tired of this shit. I am, at least. Yes, I'm tired of you as well, Taya. Just give me like two seconds. Don't pay me any heed. We'll play Mahjong later. I'll absolutely crush you. It's fine. But I need to be here for like just a minute. Just like you were here for a minute to go catch Sanyi as well, I see. Oh my god. It okay. Just because I was a part of this was not it was not my fault got it like i'm not the only one you don't have to blame everything on me but well, i get it like if you want to make me such a big deal i understand like i know i'm i'm pretty sick i'm not saying you are a big deal but and i'm not i'm not my eye isn't just against you as well um, it's the other bounty hunters but you always the other bounty hunters you were here too like yes you're also a part of the but problem I, ju I just got here actually i'll have you know 
then you 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 had to be one of, one of the first to alert everyone. Fine, go go do your thing, and I'll, I'll set up a game. Yeah, just I'll just okay. Look, I'll sit even over here. I'll sit the furthest away I can. Good. Just give me like two seconds. I need to switch tables anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Um, with your uh, did your perception for me? You did. I did. It was you. Um. I'm actually having. I can't see anyone's names on it, so I don't know who wrote. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I know that. That's the only inconvenience with the whole. <laughs> I think I'll probably rename them all so they have your names at the front. Well, I'll fix that. Um, with the um, with your thirteen on your perception, you looking around. You like or uh, listening around. You can hear some people making comments about you and your golden fists, and just like some of them are quite snarky. But you can also hear Nobu over here. You don't know who they are, but you know that like the Harry they are wearing is that of the Lash and Snakes. Um, one of the rival gangs of your um, your uh, your family, essentially. And they... You just hear them having a conversation with this uh, this ro oh, or this this masked hooded... Um... Nobu this guy? Yeah, Nobu's a blue tiefling. Mm -hmm. okay. But you can hear like these, these ones all here are like sniggering. Uh, as like they're just like making comments about your golden fists. All right, Taya's gonna stand up from the table, take a sip of Nobu's tea, and then move tables. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> as you like right. move tables, you just see like one eye open and look at you. You listening, big boy? I just, he just, like, sits up and sets his arms down as he just focuses. Long. Have you been talking to, uh, Randall lately? I don't know who that is. Do you actually not know who that is, or...? I'm pretty sure no one, no one's really talked to Kano, is that right? He's had a few people, like, some of the gardeners and, like, the, um... The people that like have been working around him, but he hasn't actually met Randall before. Or had like spoken to him one to one. I don't know. Why? Oh, I was I was just wondering. I know you might have heard about me. I don't know. I don't have a lot of friends in this prison, and it seems like you haven't made any friends yet in this prison. And I was wondering just, if you wanted I'd to like look at this group back here. <laughs> go to the gym. As you, as you say, they just size just sort of raise like, yeah, I could go to the gym. When you, you look like the type that would want to go to the gym. <laughs> when you when you ask that, and when you see the um these these uh people group here, they they were looking at you for a moment, but then they turn away. But then you uh you do see coming back from the uh the line, you can see a um. A tiefling edge their way towards you, holding a bowl of soup. I just like swivel in my seat and turn to look at him, resting one arm. Can I help you? Yeah, um, I've just uh, I thought you might want some soup. Uh, you looked hungry, so I I came to give you some soup. As he looks to pass you a uh, some soup and a spoon. Is this some sort of joke or <laughs> Taya's not laughing. Taya's not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is I, I just I just thought you, you looked hungry. I wanted some soup. Uh, you hand me a spoon because I mean, well, you, you want to see me it, around it, holding the spoon? You want to see the funny guy with golden hands? I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we 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 could we could see the. I can show you these golden hands up real close if you want them to. No, no, you could just pick up the spoon and have some soup instead. As you just go to put the plate down in front of you, and when you see him place it down, you can see. Um, some of his um, skin flashes underneath his sleeve. As you can see, similar to uh, Zobu's uh, Harry, you can see some blue uh, coiled snake uh, pat scaled patterns uh, tattooed on the inside of his arm. 
I like look between him and and Nobu. Nobu looks at me just preparing his tiles and just can't eat eyeing Taya. Just, just give me some soup, if, pal. If you're done with the service, you can leave now. He just looks at you, uh, Taya, and then just moves away. I can't turn him around, but he turns around. <laughs> <laughs> And he joins this group over here. And they Can all watch I you investigate the soup? Sure. Roll investigation. I'd like to know what's going on with that soup. <laughs> it's pretty normal soup. Just plain, plain old cold soup. Bacho. Yeah, what was it? What was uh, today's soup? Um, Rocky and Randall and Moran. Potato and carrot, I think. Yes. Potato and carrot. <laughs> yeah, potato and carrot. Not even With really rice? spice either. Why is there rice? I... No, the rice is the rice is for like the onigiri. Like a side bowl. Yeah, side bowl. Yeah, there's a bunch of. Okay, there. side bowl of rice. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna potato like. Uh, I'm gonna like slam the the spoon, like throw it off the table, and then like carefully try to like balance the bowl in between my two fists as it brings up to my lips. Mm -hmm. Roll for <laughs> me. Dexterity or slay a hand? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, as you, no. as you, as you, oh my god, as you, uh, my as you, 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 you, as 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 you, kind of like just recoils back a bit but still like leans forward to watch you and Zo uh, Nobu even now is watching and you just you just lift up the soup up to your uh, your lips and uh, you, you, you taste the very cold very bland the very boring soup of potato and carrots and you can hear just like groans of disappointing uh, disappointment from the uh, the others Gold hunt over here. Fucking You just hear you just hear that muttered. And then just just not a barrage, but like just whispers and mutterings of various other insults about like your lack of ability to move your hands and just your Just just you. So what was this about Randall going to the gym? Whenever you're ready, I think Randall might want to see us at the gym. Well, I think I'm about done here anyway. I could go whenever. Yeah, I'm, I'm done my food too. And anything that's left, I don't really have an appetite for. So uh, let's head up to the gym. I join to the gym. I don't know where I'm going. I'd That's like okay. to go to the kitchen. I don't know yeah, the, the, the gym is down. But we, when you I, get I don't want to go to the gym. I want to go to the kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen would be, if I zoom out. It's over here, isn't it? It's over here. Yeah. Uh, as you do get up, uh, Nobu... Hey, 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 hey. You said a game of Mahjong. I said later, No, Nobu. you No. You said after you were done with your business, and that's now. Back off, snake. No, you back off. We got business. Gold hands. He doesn't know what to say. <laughs> he just looks at you. Do we have time for a game of Mahjong right now? <laughs> you could. Because I'm always down to Mahjong. <laughs> if Kano wants to give you the time. You know how to play Mahjong? I don't know. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> There's a bunch of tiles. Uh, you might have a little bit of difficulty playing, but I could... I could help, I guess. Or you could watch. Yeah, that's fine. I'll sit back down for a moment. Good. I'll give you one round. Okay. So, all right. I don't know how to play Mahjong. You know this. Um, so what <laughs> we're going to do is instead, we're going to do a roll of intelligence checks. Um, okay. Nobu's going to go first. And basically, you've got to beat his intelligence check. Um, oh, fuck's sake. I keep opening Clip Studio Paint. 
close that and then move it over there. You're just instinctually trying to do more work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too used to it. Yeah, he's going to roll a intelligence check uh, if he lets me roll the dice. Any minute now. All right, you've got to beat a five. <laughs> you done it. <laughs> you you st you guys set up your tiles and is it like you got to make more numbers? Is that how it works? I can't remember. How to... Describe what it, a good. It's basically like poker. So I would say like they were trying to make a hand, but they ended up having to fold, and I was able to complete my hand. Mm -hmm. So even though it's not like worth a lot of points, it's like there's a clear victor here. Mm. And I was kind of able to outsmart him by uh, getting tiles earlier. I'm I'm over here, Ponchi Khan, like, pachoo. <laughs> <laughs> Probably no one understands that, no but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pretend to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are then, you satiated? Can I no, go now? No, we're not finished. And then another round. Another oh, round. Got I'll, it. I'll if you if you win the next two rounds. I'll sweep. I'll sweep this 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 grudge under the rug, and even, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll back off gold hands over here. Even even though I'm done nothing. He's got to be All ten. Right. Build your hand. Oh. And you um, you you build a not very. Your song. <laughs> yeah, it's not your turn. You build <laughs> a very similar hand to earlier. But this time he's able to just score a few more points over you. Until so he wins this one round. I needed that montile, you jerk. <laughs> Mine. And then he pours a cup of tea and then like he pours one for both of you and slides it over to Kano. I, don't, do even, I don't even bother. Taya wouldn't drink from this one. Hmm. Now you gotta roll one more time. again? Check. Yep. This is the last one. Oh, saw a linker on that five for a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Fine, go. You win. I'll, I'll, I'll let you pass this time. Let me know if you're looking for some more uh, soups or something. I'm always down to play a little friendly game of mahjong. Hmm. And then I'm just gonna get up silently, and then we're gonna we're gonna head away. Yeah. Away. You making your way to the kitchen? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you notice like you the kitchen over here. This way. <laughs> Kitchen's over here. <laughs> Taya has a great sense of direction. It's so good. It's there's like you notice there's not many guards like generally no guards are on patrol you're generally kind of like left to your own devices as you like essentially have to like take care of yourselves uh on the prison factory the only guards that are around are the ones on patrol to make sure you guys aren't doing anything dangerous and the ones that make sure you aren't carrying anything illegal or dangerous uh, out of the area you're in um as you make your way around this uh the sneeze guard you see there's a few vending machines here that have just um rows and rows of snacks and uh drinks and you notice these do require coin to um to get to get products from but yeah you see these um the kitchens as you make your way around you can see the ray of food and just like on these signs here you can see um you can see what's it called uh, on uh, lining the walls are just like screens that have displays of the various meals that are being that have been prepared for today but also you can see um you can see what's it called uh just mentions of just uh guards like uh just like images of guards and saying don't do something stupid or stuff like that and just like general like warnings of things not to do a while while you're within the prison hanging and, in there it's just a hanging cat yeah <laughs> and although the 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 walls are metal uh, um the doors are uh like just these iron uh, uh iron doors they just slide as you make your way and push them forward if I get dynamic lighting going, let's gonna move this over here. As you can look into uh, the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna look around to see quickly if the other two in the kitchen can like see us come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fairly it's uh -oh. fairly lit. Like the there's overhanging light, but there's also like the furnace here. 
when when I when Randall sees them both enter the room, he's gonna snap at the fire genasi and the tiefling already in here and say, "Ah, uh, your shift is over, my my friends. Uh, oh? These two are here to replace you." Oh, okay. What? Okay. Take that. <clears throat> As um. Hold on, I didn't come here to work. The tiefling makes their way past you and just like, excuse oh, yeah. me, it's okay. Excuse me. You hear the fire genasi though, as like he walks past. I don't know what fucking gold hands over here could do though. He's like, he's got no hands. Look, there's no fingers. I feel like jump at him, like, like, like threaten to almost punch him. Roll intimidation. Uh, let's see. Ciao. He's really good at smashing <laughs> potatoes. I, you beat me to it. Damn it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> When you go to almost swing and you see the fires splutter out of his hair and like just like it turns down into tiny cinders and then he just like makes his way meeping past you. Don't question the quality of good, of good mashed potatoes. I feel like you <laughs> wanted to say handiwork there. I don't know. It was like, <laughs> I was like walking. I was like, ooh, yeah, he doesn't have hands. <laughs> All right, which potatoes are my mashing then? You're, you're not you're not rashing any potatoes. Would you want to shut right. Do you want to guys want to shut the door? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, shut uh, the door yes, behind absolutely. me. Well, I'm telling you, I can't really use a knife, so uh. It's okay, you're not using a knife either. <laughs> Why am I here? It's good. To, it's good to finally meet you, by the way. I've been looking at you for a while since I've been in here. Your golden hands catch my eye. I know people hate me, but talking to this guy here probably put my rep down at least ten percent. So you're gonna have to make sure, like. I know you said we, we agreed on one soup to get him here, but I think I'm gonna need two noodle soups next time. Holy crap! I just like well, I, don't, I just like shrug like what the fuck? <laughs> don't you don't have to be worrying about your rep anytime anytime soon after after uh, these next few days. We're getting out of here. And Randall walks over to the furnace here mm -hmm. and kick, kicks a stone. And the whole thing just shifts over to the right, revealing a hallway down into a secret area. Yeah, you can see as like he, uh, the furnace kind of like splutters out and revealing the tunnel that Randall has uh, kicked up, essentially kicked open. Um, you can see amongst like uh, on the ashy floor turns to stone, um, similar to the one in the, uh, the, uh, the dark cold stone in the kitchen. Um, and you can just see it just guides you and like it's kind of like a little crawl space where you guys can like make your way in so who's who's following randall into the furnace yeah I'll I'll you all y'all better be yeah you can see randall Are we doing this head. right now wait. wait wait how long did you that did it take you to make this oh i didn't make it i found it that seems sketchy i'll be honest i follow him then <laughs> I'm Ren's not so much of a shocked, crafter, if I'm being honest. She's gonna, she's gonna go. That's an impressive kick you got there. That's the wrong thing. Uh, follow me, my friends. And I'd say almost, how how would Rocky feel as he like is about to step into this little, little time? Um, he's only been here he a week, very, so like, this is very new. He's very confused right now. Um, he's also kind of hesitant, I guess, just because he doesn't know these people uh, terribly well. But uh, he's just gonna go for it. See what happens. Mm -hmm. also, yeah, as Rocky's waiting behind, Moran Moran calls back, "Hey, newcomer, come on, sink or swim." Uh, she I typically sink, forward. but I'll swim this time. <laughs> yeah, it's you guys. Even like the shortest of you still has to crouch as you guys make your way into uh, this tunnel. And it's like, man, if I wasn't six feet, that would be a whole lot easier. <laughs> no, no, you're you're clearly five foot eleven. I can tell. No, you tell. <laughs> no. As you see, um, it opens up at the, the end of a hallway in a ro candlelit room. You see, amongst the candlelight, there's also like the light from a vending machine that has had like its <laughs> coin insert broken. So like you can Our just like watch flies. Oh, thank you. Oh no! Wait, <laughs> hang on. Uh, oh no! I might have wrote Babe. That I might have that was that, that was. Oh. Let me let me check something. I may have like done like worded it wrong. If that's it. was that the was that watchful eyes or was that um. Earthwings. Oh no! Oh no! 
<laughs> dark wings watchful eyes. I don't know what this means, but take my point. That sounds Dave. like that oh. sounds like the bad one. Oh no. Because yeah, the watchful words is the bad one. I mean, watchful eyes is the bad one. Yeah, it is. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, she 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 wanted the bad one. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nothing happens. Well, this is right my now, uh, my humble say. abode. Yeah, you see, Rocky welcomes you into this secret room. The secret little room that his um, Rocky does. No, Rocky, you sorry. Mean Randall. Randall. Yeah, in I'm gonna just change the music oh, before oh. I before I do something. <laughs> uh, give me a second as I change it to this. Give me a second. No. Please. No. Sorry. No seconds can be given. Yeah. Welcoming you in, um, Randall reveals a room that is, it's dec not decorated, but like the walls are built up or kind of like the, um, the, uh, the kitchen, only the walls here are clearly carved out in mind and not smoothed out like the, um, the kitchen's walls have been. And you can see just furniture, furniture littering the room amongst a bunch of like, uh, a bunch of, amongst a bunch of books and papers, just like placed onto the um onto the um onto the desk in the center with a um a little cartographer uh, not a cartography but like a calligraphy set on the side that is used for like writing you can see on the wall as you got the first thing you saw as you walked in is like a pin board with just a bunch of strings leading to different areas or, or just different things on a map of the prison um that kind of reveals most most of the areas you can see crates of just stuff, uh, all closed, just lining the walls, and like, but like, you can see like, um, there's like food labeling on on most of those. You can see, um, and just certain, and there's like a bit of dust over some of the equipment, and a lot of all the chairs are covered in dust except for the one Randall went to. And in the corner, you can see just a pile of um, random assortments of um, weapons, clothing. Um, and just gear. Could you all roll for me a perception check? Except for Randall. Okay, that's the same. He immediately just, like, sits in one of the chairs and, like, plops Three. down. Hmm. Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta say hello. Where are we? All right. So we had. I assume that's like the. Or who who got the seventeen? I feel like this is where we struggle now. I got I got three. You got three. Sixteen was. I think I got the sixteen. What's your wisdom? I got the twenty-two. Twenty-two, and Rocky is the seven. Perfect. Oh, I think I know why it does it. Cause like all the like all of them are called plain. You guys are all plain, so like yeah, it, yeah. we're all plain at this time. Yeah. You'll have to change it to to like plain Taya plain. Yeah, I'll do that now quickly. I can. Yeah, that's an easy I mean, fix. just like I don't know. I feel like that's gonna take a lot longer than quick. That's an easy fix. I can quickly do that. But yeah, um, with that perception, uh, who got whoever got above fifteen, you guys can see amongst all just the pile. You can see some of your own gear. Uh, that like had been taken oh. from you uh, when you guys oh. made your way in, Randall. You know that like this was from one of your your many associates has uh, has helped you gather a lot of the belongings of your crew that you have been building and preparing over the. Um... Is there a, is there a, a cowboy hat in here? There is not a cowboy hat. Oh, shit. His. Uh, Sorry, you... Rocky. We're getting there. Rocky's cowboy hat isn't in on Kasakawa. I gave away my cowboy hat, uh, but I wanted. I just. It's fine. I don't worry about it. Is my but beloved it's, it's bow? My mission to get it. Your beloved a part bow of the is. pile. Yes. When like. As soon as. Oh god. Um. Those that did roll fifteen, uh, well, well, fifteen, did like. How do you guys react to seeing your your gear in the pile? As soon as Taya sees her bow, she like leaps up out of her chair and rushes straight for it. My and bow. Like... Oh my god, I can't believe you have my bow. Alright, take it. 
whatever you see here that's yours is is yours forever. Like <laughs> we need to be equipped for this escape. Yeah, like Randall. I like, would have taken it no matter what. Yeah. Like to be fair, Randall. Actually, has... it might not be a good idea to take it around the prison and outwardly be shown you have it, but <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Moran, when, when Randall says escape, draws back very cautious and says, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's but going on? You want to stay here? Of course not, but what is this? This is my little nook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Randall, bad, I've known you for three days. I wasn't talking about the room. Well, then what do you mean? <laughs> So, you have a plan, right? I I have a percentage of a plan, yes. How much of a percentage? Thirty percent. Oh. I just like lean over to Rocky. He's like, oh, is that wow. a lot? Like, I think it is there. I think it's a good amount. I think that is a lot. Yeah, a, a lot. A okay. good percentage of this plan was all of you because you seem like very capable people. So that's why us. Why now? Are you ready? Did, did some timing window happen? Well, I mean, I'm also, always... I'm... Yes, what part of me, what part of me not being able to cut potatoes correctly thought made you think that I was eligible for a prison escape? Well, it was honestly more so the fact that you were... Because, like, like, that conversation we had back there, that, that was make or break, and I, I, you, you, I like the cut of your jib, so that's why I invited you. Okay. I didn't like why you were imprisoned, if I'm being honest. I'm all about freedom. And the Moran is going. Freedom. Moran's going to retrieve her equipment from Wait, the pile very you? carefully. Do you, do you have much you of a choice? Anything. Do you have much of a choice, Golden Hands? I mean, I do. I could just go back and tell them about this place. All right, well, why would you do that? What, 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 how'd you find all this? What is this anyway? What, why do you want, want to escape Nobody so would badly? believe you. People don't like you. Even if you did tell them, you're not going to be well, able to accomplish anything. So you might as you well would just be a, You'd be labeled us. as a snitch along with a loser. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look. Nobody talks, everyone walks. All right. That's what I called for. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm not I'm not saying that personally. I just oh. think that's just the emotion. Like I forget. You can't you can say anything this. now. Yeah, we're all in this together now. Okay. We're all, we're in, all this. in this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would get the High School Musical generation. <laughs> um, when... The mastermind within me called it. <laughs> when you see Taya also get, gathering her equipment from. The nook you notice that like she's dislodging a bunch of equipment and you see some of your own gear amongst them almost everything that like you brought like that was taken from you when you came to the prison is amongst this pile and like randall you never told me he had me hat you got your hat it's there look it at was, this beauty it, you notice it's a bit squashed from under the weight of everything i start unflapping it and trying to like make it better again You'll be better, baby. Don't worry. I suppose the only thing that would have been brought with me was, like, the clothes I was wearing. I don't really have much mm. in terms of, like, weapons or gear. Yeah. Well, if you want to, like, take... Like, when you leave this room and you want to take something, just uncheck it off your equipment. When you. Oh, do. I guess, like, my knives I had. Mm. I can get but you something from this vending machine for free. <laughs> that thing works. What, what's that, it? Yes, what's it, it does. What do yeah. we have in it? It's it's got like all sorts of sodas, teas, uh, juices, and even some uh, some chocolates and some uh, some like some. Is there snacks. apple juice? There's apple juice. There's absolutely apple juice. I guess some apple oh. juice is a good source of uh, of, of things I, that's good Apples. for a growing body. <laughs> Rocky is taking a. Uh, he's gonna just take a uh, his. Uh, I guess it's a tender box. Is that just like a matchbox? Yeah. Yeah. Is it the size of a matchbox? Yeah, it's a little, no. little, little. What uh, are you doing with that? Little, little lighter. I am just, I'm just keeping it for later. It's, it's my, I believe it's mine. Um, As, he has nothing else small that he can take. He just kind of pockets a lot, it. Hiding. Lots of flammable things in here. I'm, I'm not using it now. I just, you know. Why is there a candle here? I guess I you got a good it. point. As you Don't guys, poke it. 
as like you guys are like discussing this, you can hear the echoing of voices. Randall, you know that when like you close uh, or when you enter your uh, your nook, uh, it closes. the The furnace turns back on, um, so it's like there's no actual like way in. But like you can hear the muffling voices as like you you've had some like you you've made it like listenable from the uh, from within the kitchen to hear what what's going on, and you can hear the muffling of someone calling for you, Randall. 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 Uh, excuse me, everyone. And then I run through this hallway as quick as I can. As you, you are you crawling? Because you have to yeah, crawl. Well, yeah. I, I guess I crawl yeah. through. Yeah, roll, as as I can. roll for I me. Um, roll for me. Uh, what's the word? Athletics or acrobatics. Fourteen. Fourteen. You're 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 being pretty speedy. You're making you're making your way. Um, and you reach you reach your furnace in like uh. A fair amount of time but you can hear just like people uh impatiently on the other side and the sound of like fire uh sparking as like um you can hear just these people calling for you randall randall i i specifically i wait until maybe they leave if or if they leave look in the fridge yes sir you hear one say you check the fridge the crates as you can hear, you're all um, the kitchen just being searched. Where could that Dragon oh, Ball go? Crap. But what's what's going on, Randall? You. Hey. I love the hero. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> as you can look through the peak hole, and you can see there's a few fire Genasi guards. In uh, four of them specifically that are searching the the kitchen right now. And you can see the one that like is leading them is close to the furnace right now and just shouting for you. What kind of infernal dragon won't go? There's no way to hide in here. As you can see, uh, you can see through the peak hole they're trying to like, lift out the grate with their uh, glaives, but the the, the grates are lodged, um, like almost like glued to the ground. Is there any way that I could get out of here? Or like get get in that room stealthily from in here, or would it make would the furnace make a lot of noise? The furnace itself wouldn't make that much noise when it slides uh, when it reveals its hallway, but it would be very obvious. Like the light would go out from the fire. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk back or crawl back. Mm -hmm. While Randall has been gone, uh, may I do something? You can. All right. I, when I see Taya pick up her bow, a little spark of recognition is going to be in Moran's eyes, and she's going to turn to Taya and say, I've seen you before, haven't I? Who are you? You came to our shrine. Uh, yeah, so you're one of the shrine maidens, then? You were the last... You took that journey through the valley. That's... that's me, Hattie. It's kind of creepy. What Moran, do you know <laughs> Moran basically rushes her and gets right up in her personal space and says, I need you to tell me everything As... that happened that whoa. day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As Moran... Slow down. As Moran rushes over, you can see amongst Rocky and Kano, you and like Tay, you'd see as well. You'd see as the like the candles start flickering and throw shadows on the wall. When it casts a shadow on Moran, you see she begins to start smoking for a second and like will start to wisping off, like wisps like leave off her. As you can see, the shadow up. cast on the wall amongst all the gear uh, tower over. Uh, Taya and Moran and look down at Taya for a second. Calm, calm down. I don't know what kind of witchcraft you're doing, pulling right now, but I need you to just chill. She's got these huge, uh, just like dark eyes. Like she's got these very dark irises that are bigger than a, like a human's per se. Mm -hmm. She's a tiefling and her eyes were very wide and she looked like she was almost about to grab Taya and then she just 
Sorry. And she she draws back and takes a step back and gives you some space. You must understand, it's very important to me. What what do you what do you need to know? The woman who guided you through the valley, Hanako. What happened while you were down there? We uh got in a fight. The two of you? Nah, we were fighting someone else, and then Hanako had to dip, so I kept going. I don't I understand. Can't, I can't really talk about it. Like, I don't really know you. I don't know what you're trying to do. Listen, I've, I've made a lot of enemies by doing, being in the factory. I, I can't really, I don't want to get into it right now. Fine, fine. But please, please consider it. I need to know about. And then I'll I'll see Randall come back in, and I'll just I'll just shut up. Okay. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? No. No, we're we're good here. I think. Uh, we're good out there too. As and you just you can just see uh, Randall's eyes like twitching, like frantically. Into a Insight mind check? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Roll okay. a deception, uh, Randall, to see if you can try and uh, pr hide. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 Moran, you are very aware. Like, something is... Well, not very aware, but, like, you can, like... You get the inkling something is off. And, like, those voices, they, uh... They're, they're, they've spooked Randall a bit. She doesn't want to call him on it just yet, but she furrows her brow. If you say so. Okay. We, we may just want to wait until things quiet down out there. Uh, hang out in here for a second. So maybe we can get to know each other a little bit more. I don't know. Are I allowed to keep right. my bow or is this going to be a problem? Uh, I think it'll probably be a problem in the prison. And Taya puts puts the bow back into the pile, but stares at it a little bit longer. I just wanted to let you guys know that this was here for when Operation Escape plan happens. That's that's the name Thank of my you. plan that I came up with. That was that was at least five percent of the plan that I had. Oh no! Coming up with the name? Yes. <laughs> I like it. I have a question. Um, the hand axe that I have is it? Small enough to hide in my pants, or no? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You'd have to use your pants, or you have to see me. <laughs> roll. <laughs> <laughs> I will say roll stealth to try and hide it. Or oh, I'm like... not trying to hide it from from them right now. I just. Oh no! It, yeah. Right. Yeah. In the, like I, put it in the thing and in, in her kosode. <laughs> I think Taya would try to take her dagger and hide it. Yeah. You guys. So would that be a stealth check? Yeah, that'll be a stealth check when like you are like being when when you guys have when you leave the room. I will. Okay. You guys do know when like you leave certain rooms or certain areas, there is security checks. Um, the canteen has one for each exit, other than like the kitchen. Oh. Okay, then maybe not. Maybe maybe I won't then. I think Teo would still keep the dagger. All right. Cool. Well, if you're going to, then I might as well. <laughs> as you guys are hearing, um, as you guys are like doing that as well, you can hear the the commotion out. You can hear the faint commotion outside, uh, and Randall, the one that like spooked you earlier. You can hear them like still searching, but then you can just hear them like just like they spend a lot of time searching as you guys like just waiting out. He's not here. Someone keep an eye out for him. Though. Probably gone, gone back to his cell block, or well, he might have class. Okay, let's go. They might think he's at the laundry. <laughs> Trying to like project my voice. <laughs> Roll deception. Actually, wait. Okay, this might be super. Okay, because I do have master of intrigue, so I can unerringly mimic speech patterns, mm. as well as I have where was it? Psionic mind. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. And Excuse me, everyone. Frankie has redeemed Royal <laughs> Rumble, so I will. <laughs> I, when when you when you do that, I'll describe what that does in a second. Oh no! Is that what I think it is? Don't you worry. That's not that's oh. not that's not the big one. Okay. Uh, I I get to the door over here, and in in as close of a voice I can emulate, and and, and through the mind, I try to like trick this these people into thinking that. Uh, someone outside of the door of the of the kitchen is is uh, calling them. Mm -hmm. Like I try to to do the captain's voice, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So here are Hakana, the uh, yeah the main the big warden that's been keeping an eye on you. Go ahead, roll. Uh... So like, I'd say with advantage then. I don't know exactly what like, all the things are. Could you put them in chat for me, actually, just so I can have a quick read? I can do that. Yeah. I'm gonna so start I'm crawling mind. back through the tunnels. Mm -hmm. and yeah, then that's good. Master of Intrigue. Oh, yeah, you don't even need to roll about it. Um, yeah, you mimic. What is it you're saying in Hirokana's voice? Uh, I say, uh, we, uh, guards, we need some help in the in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And yes, here. What the Come fuck? In. And you can hear them just running to the cafeteria and then you do as the doors open you do hear a noise as outside in the cafeteria you can hear some uh you can hear a commotion bye frankie oh boy you can hear a commotion happening right, let me just see uh, specific things oh rocky i think we should leave as well can i uh, right. go back into the tunnel Let's get out of here and pretend like we never left and they're just crazy. Yeah, apparently stuff is going down, so let's get out there. As you oh, see, God, I, I, of I kick the stone again on the side of the wall. Okay, yeah. You kick it just in time to see that the guards like leave and my PC's on fire. Like legitimately? <laughs> no, no, well, no. Catch it. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs> As you can see, uh, you see, as the doors kick open, you can see there's a fight happening in the canteen amongst um, two, like three sets of inmates. If I pull up the sheets or the, the things, give me a second. And you notice that's the wrong character. And there's, there's a fight? There is a fight happening right in the canteen. And you guys can just about see through the... Um, through the prison door. So if I put like you guys all here, as you guys like, I would like just peek around. The guards. Yeah, let me through. I'm trying to place bets. The guards are rushing out. And... Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. They are very cute. They look like little infern apes or something. I just want to. I want to kiss them. I want to give them a little kiss on the forehead. Give a little smooch around the forehead. Wow. Like I love all of you. <laughs> oh no, there's one down here. Oh, no, sorry. They're all rushing out. Like, you do okay. see all your equipment has been, like, um, has been, like, hassled, but they're rushing out. They they don't even see you guys come through as they're focused on the distraction being made. And you can even see... Go back to Master Potatoes. <laughs> you can see Zobu in the corner. It's, it's, like, the guards that were, like, the people that were in the canteen have left. Only Zobu still remains, and he's still playing Mahjong. But you can see, um... If I do this, and you can see these these doors here open as well as like more guards are called to help. If it lets Randall's me, Randall goes back to cutting up carrots. Like that's all I was doing. I'm just mashing. I'm just mashing. Moran mash, is mash, going mash. to go peek around the corner <laughs> and see what the heck is going on in there. I can't get rid of these. Someone's going to do this. Hey, it's going to hang around the food. Nice. Yeah, you guys can see just a commotion happening, and like you can see some guards coming through. Hmm. So you guys will have advantage to like stealth your way around this little this little fight happening. I just want to peek around here and just see what's happening. Yeah, you guys can see what's happening. You know, you you can just about see uh, in the tunnel. Are these, he are these like snakes? Snakes? What snakes? These things? The, the, the Shan snakes. Oh, uh, one of them is a Lashan snake, yeah. 
All right. Which one? I'm going to put a blue dot on them. You actually know it's just the same one that gave you the soup. Um, but you can also see the guard that was in this security tube over here. Uh, that like is a security hallway to the common room. Uh, they've left uh, their post to come try to break up the fight. And they just circle around the prisoners as they like just scuff them. What would you guys like to do? I'm going to rush back. Maybe this is a good chance for us to keep talking. I mean, it seems like a good chance for us to get out of here almost, too. Uh, are we doing this now? Taya, like, turns around. And are we being stealthy or are we going all out? I don't know if now all is... out. Yeah, we, we, we have to go get our stuff then. Yeah, we have to get our stuff. We need a plan. Randall, Ooh. it seems like you've thought about this. What was your idea? Uh, well, there are multiple things we could do. There are things in... there. The laundry loads that get taken out of this place. Uh, there are shipments of things that we could get stowed away in. Uh, there are obviously weaker points on the walls of this place. I know we're inside of a mountain construct, but I mean, like, there are places where the walls are not as, as strong. So we could test out all these different avenues of escape if, if you want, but. That sounds better than trying to fight our way through. I'm going to grab like a piece of chicken and huck it at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph. <Rolf. laughs> Moran, I think. I mean, no, Moran, sorry. Epi, I think your mic has just been a bit wonk for a second. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, sounding a little bit like staticky. Yeah. Um, could Kano, you roll for me a... Wait, I can't. They don't have hands to grab it with. You could grab it with both hands if you wanted. And just like just mash it between right. between your hands, yeah. <laughs> like two tongs. <laughs> yeah, roll. Uh, roll for me. A dexterity or athletics with disadvantage. Athletics with disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just pick up one of the chicken cutlets and just like go to toss it over the sneeze guard, but you just see just like pathetically just sort of stuck into the glass uh the glass wall and just slide down, leaving a bit of grease. <laughs> uh, trail. And you see some of the guards do turn for a second towards you, but they go back to trying to uh, stop the fight. Well, that's I will okay. say, yeah. you will have like about five more minutes uh, IRL before like the guards are like gonna like, they'll have broken up the fight. Alright, what are we doing? Are we getting out of here? I think we're getting, we're getting out of this situation temporarily right now, but we'll be, we'll be back to do a proper escape thing later. We just want to get out of this current situation. But, yeah, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I don't think we're playing on escaping right this moment. Are we? No. Uh, out. Uh, uh, <laughs> How you guys getting out? Well, I'm just uh, gonna like just keep kind of sneaking behind this counter, just to kind of like not a. Uh, I'll just follow. Ran just pressure. follow Randall then. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. I can I jump over at this point down here? Like, yeah. does it look hey. jumpable? Who's this? Yeah. What's dude? what's below us and what's above us? The common room is below. Uh, north and south. Uh, yeah. North is the courtyard. South is the common room. Uh, and the, the common, common room, room does it what is, does it lead to our cell blocks? Yeah, it leads to your cell blocks, uh, the library, and the gym. Oh, yeah, good. I'm trying to get to All the right. library. Yeah, let's go. Out of my way, nerd! I push this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets like pushed <laughs> to the ground. So, he looks so cute. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. He's he's a bit he's a bit of a brute. Roll for me as you guys are trying to jump over. Could you roll me acrobatics, athletics to see how uh, how well you guys make it make your way over the sneeze guard. As I'm going to change the music. Uh, you said acrobatics or athletics. What? Okay, yeah. sorry, I thought that was me. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. crit miss. Oof. Just, you just break everything. <laughs> just I, I, slip, <laughs> I slip on Kano's dropped chicken cutlet, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that was all the way over there. That doesn't, that doesn't apply over here. Yeah, well, when you went to pick it up, you did dislodge a bunch of chicken. 
So you got, as you guys are like just like making your way, Moran just s slips and just collapses he eats to the ground. Shit. Yeah. How? And then I'm gonna <laughs> use my echo. Go ahead. As everyone else, you guys are able to make it to the other side. And although Randall, you pathetically do make it like jump over. Like you, you don't even jump. You can't like just like l climb over in a really like slow, labored way. But you are able to make it over while everyone else yeah. is able to make it over. And yeah. you guys see for a moment that same shadowy, wispy uh, smoke come off uh, Moran for a second. As Moran, you you see your echo reach down to help you in your in the spot you were in when you were on the floor. But then you see it yeah. pull you. And as it pulls you, it, you feel your body phase through existence for a moment. And um, in a very unconspicuous puff of smoke amongst surrounded by the rest of the group uh, you see your echo pull you up to the uh pull you uh back onto your feet um and everyone else can just about see something shadow like a shadowy person pull moran up to her feet that is just just a bit taller than her uh just pulls up back to her feet um, um as you are surround her but then as soon as you see it it disappears yeah it was very fast yeah you guys can see that Whoa. this little um you gotta teach me that one sometimes <laughs> that, that sounds like it'll be handy in the escape doesn't work that way i'm afraid which door which which door kaz this song is awesome thank you <laughs> um you yeah you can this is just these are one of the security tubes this one is the one that you would go down normally and as you step in i'm gonna pause the time because you guys are uh, in the thing, as you guys like just rush into this uh, little, little uh, one, like this is kind of designed to be like a one-way line kind of thing, where you go in, um, or this is the way out from the kitchen. I need to put markers for arrows where, like, which which ways are in and out. Um, but you can see on in the tube itself, there is this one contraption that is like a threshold that is like uh, just a bunch of machines and like parts put together that is designed for like to scan you as you walk through. Um, and you can see on like through these windows through the other side, um, it ain't pinging, but you can see on the other side and you can see, uh, there's a desk that is on a wall, um, that has like a bunch of like just, um, computers and materials and that are just like designed to, for this, uh, scanning contraption here. But yeah, you guys are able to make your way through? Um... I'm not sure if any of that is like a metal detector. Can I use my echo teleport to get through? Yeah, sure. I mean, if it's not, if everybody's passing through just fine, including yeah. Taya. Yeah, you do see where well, as Taya, like um, the rest of the group do pass through, there isn't anything specific like goes off. You notice actually when you when the rest of the group, you guys walk past, you can see that the screens are almost off. Like all of them like are dimly lit as if like they're on standby. All right, I'll go through then. I'll just do it. Are there any like cables here? That's uh, above the the um, above you guys. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. But yeah, there are wires on the other side, but not on the side of the tube. The tube. Let's do this. I am gonna get rid of these walls. I don't. I don't think these walls specifically need to be there. I'm gonna peek at the screens just as we pass, if I can, just to make sure everything's okay. Go ahead. Roll perception. You'll be... We have DDR here. Get some Furbies. <laughs> I'll, I'll describe the common room in a second as well. <laughs> 11. You, as you do make your way through, you don't see anything, anything specific on the screen. It's more so just like, you see like, as you saw everyone else walk through, you could see like silhouettes of their person. And like, there was like showing where certain things were on them, but they weren't like anything like beeping or going off. I was like, as these things were being highlighted on them. Oh. Like when Kano walked through, you saw his fists were all outlined, for example. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. When you guys make the, enter the common room, this room, let me get my little descriptions out for you guys. The, uh, the common room is... It's a well, like like the kitchen and the 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 canteen, well well ventilated. It looks very cozy, considering how like sterile everything feels within uh, under the mountain. You um, you know this is where like most people come to like, spend their free time. And, like they like because like the way the nature of the prison is like you you go where you want as long as you're not like doing anything dangerous and like you're not generally watched 
as you're doing things most of the, uh, the the gods here are just kind of just relaxing and just like playing uh foosball um you can see some of them playing on the crane dance which is that big crane machine uh at the bottom uh chat can't see it so i'm just gonna do this uh, and you can see like there's like even like a um there's a screen here and a radio uh that's on and like you can see arcade machines in the corner and a pool table those that you that do frequent the library know that the library is is here. I'm gonna like get rid of the door for like it's it'd be easier. Uh, okay. Moran and Rocky, I think it would be best if when we're asked about where we were, we just say we were hanging out in here. All Sounds right. good. If you get probed, that is. <laughs> Am I gonna get probed? Like questioned? Come on. How do you how do you guys enter the room? Can I ask? A uh, common room or the library? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jacob. How do I enter the room? Yeah, like casually. How do you, casually. So yeah, like you were rushing in through the tube, but then like you enter the room. Uh, casually. Yeah, I walk in. Mm -hmm. Like I walk in, like I'm just like, like you know, a little bit too casual, but not to the point where it's suspicious. Yeah. You know, not like, casual. With them. Yeah, no one. Although, like the inmates do turn as you guys step in the room they kind of just like do that like you you know like whenever people come through the doors everyone is always like watching you guys all essentially like as you step in um you see you can see and hear the fight still going on behind you and you just see Taya and moran just dart towards the library while kano makes his way towards the gym you can zoom out um the library I'm I've always been more of a reader myself. <laughs> yeah, I'll describe the, the library. Um, the library, uh, it's a fairly small room uh, that's like gives off the smell of like amongst the sterile smell of just uh, the, the prison. There is the smell of like just paper and just like old and new books. Just fill your lungs immediately. As you can see, the walls are lined with uh, wooden bookshelves and just fill to the brim with books. Um, as you can smell some of the cafeteria uh, wafting in on its way in. You can see this one table here is covered in books. And you can just see books here and there littering around the space. Um, those are frequent library. Could you roll me an investigation check? Okay. Um, in the library? Yeah, in the library. And in the gym? You, Kano, uh, you get the smell of just, you get sweat, uh, just tossed yeah. into your, into, into your nostrils, but also the smell of like, just like oh. air freshener that like, is kind of trying to mask the smell of the sweat. Um, where did I put the thing? Yeah. And you can just see like the, the gym facilities are fairly small. You can just see like there's just a, a set of three treadmills, a few bench pressing, uh, stations and just a weightlifting station, a few yoga balls in the corner. There isn't much to do in here. But like generally, mm -hmm. it's like not a lot of the people do frequent here, anyway. As most people generally spend their time studying, as like you, um, as you, as you, you guys know, a lot of the prisoners here are either child, like are part of the children of the state program, or trying to integrate themselves into society after like they leave, instead of like just yeah. focusing all the time on working out. Um, yeah. Let's see what you got. In the, those that were in the uh, library, Rocky. What are you doing? Before you do anything, uh, I'm just, just I'm hanging out, Recru. I'm waiting to play some pool. All right, yeah, you just like yeah, well, you just hop in and get ready to play pool and just like wait your turn, and you just see like the guy uh, beside you just give you a nod, and they everyone that like, is playing pool gives you nods as well as they're just I nod back as well as give a thumbs up. They just they don't they don't they don't uh, they don't bat an eye for thumbs up and they just go back to their game. Um, Sick. <laughs> but yeah. With you guys now having almost essentially gotten away with that situation and escaped, uh, I'm going to change the music to just uh, a chill, a more chill uh, exploration playlist for as you guys just make your way around the prison. There you are. But yeah. Those of you, actually, I don't think I want this one. I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna change the playlist again. Actually no, I'm gonna leave it. I'll leave it. You in the library, um, you guys what did everyone roll? 
16. I, uh, I rolled an I rolled an 18. <laughs> and then Oh, what did you get, Randall? Eight. <laughs> Eight. Beautiful. Randall, you are kind of just spooked over the entire thing, having your lair almost be caught or found, and then having searched for you for a moment. Um, you, Taya and Moran, you guys immediately realize uh, someone's missing. Uh, Lol Erina, the uh, the, tief the pink tiefling that you've, every time you've come to the library, you've seen her there. You've never seen her anywhere else in the prison. You know that that pile in the, over here, that's hers. And you know that like that's where she frequent like she stays in her corner and like she's 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 said hello if you if, when one of you guys have said hello to her but she's never like act uh, actively like seek that conversation very much stayed focused and reserved in her books and um when you guys are like uh just making you like sweeping in you you moran with your 18 you feel you can feel the the weave essentially as like someone as a tiefling you can feel the strings of existence all around you and you can sense on this wall here as randall had like uh told you guys earlier about like there being hidden rooms and weak walls everywhere you feel something on this wall is isn't there and you can feel a presence of someone pulling out the strings from beyond those walls there I go over. She just sweeps between two tables and walks up to the wall and is going to lay a hand against it and feel for a draft or see if she can pick up anything with her blind sight mm -hmm. um, and just knock the wall and see if it's hollow. As you're trying to use your blind sight and just your, just your senses to try and try and see if there's this specific wall or area you you don't feel anything on this wall you do feel this corner here is more open and spacious um which corner this corner here the the, the left okay all and right you, you don't see anything specific um or feel anything sp uh, specific i turned to randall Something's weird. What have you found? I, don't, I haven't found anything, but Erina isn't here, and something feels strange. You're yes. better than I am at these things. Oh, well, I appreciate that compliment. Uh, with that, I, like, turn to the to the bookshelves, and I, I can I investigate them again, or... Yeah, sure. Would that be a different wall? I'd like to cast Guidance, so please add Thank a d4 to your... Thank God. Ow. Oh, that ain't gonna help necessarily, uh, but okay. You just see Randall just start, like, looking through the books, and then, like, he just gets enamored. Uh, what kind of book would Randall enjoy reading? What's a guilty pleasure of Randall? Uh, Randall's guilty pleasure is definitely, like, romance. Like, really cheesily, <laughs> badly written romance books yeah. with, like, those, like... N naked people on the cover holding each other on like a beach or something like that well you oh my God. Taya and Moran you see Randall just pick up this one book and before he even like like he he looks like he's about to like go back to like investigating he gets he gets focused in on this one book and you see him start flicking through the pages um, 50 shades of dragon beautiful Randall what we were we were kind of doing something but oh, this well, book, though. Whatever. Um, can I investigate the bookshelf, perhaps? It's the collectors. You can. Roll me investigation. Uh, right. Taya, if you, uh, what would you like to be doing as well? I sit down on the bench and um, read. I don't think Taya's really paying attention to what they're doing. I think Taya's gonna try to hide her daggers amongst the books. Okay. Roll. Uh, I'm gonna like cast guidance on myself. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Roll guidance. Holy oh, crap. What? <laughs> what? How is this wow. happening? The rolls just aren't there. So a total of three. Mm. You you <laughs> kind of... Maybe the rock can help. You can just hear... Like, Randall, when you're reading, do you like... Do you start reading aloud? Like, what do, what could, what is like would be an annoying reading habit Randall has? I just read every few words that I like. I only say aloud the words that I actually think sound nice. 
yeah, you just like as you're like looking, you just constantly hear Randall just like saying Bolstrous. things. <laughs> Enlarging. Oh my god. <laughs> Rob. As, as he as he says that like louder <laughs> and louder, like Moran like flinches and like gets like really embarrassed. I don't mind and she's, towards him. She's she's going to retreat towards the bookshelf where Tay is standing. A uh, manuscript of Fifty Shades of Grey for a second. <laughs> She pressed Please. him boobily towards him. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually a thing. No, I, I know. know. That, that's, is, I think that's in the, the Harry Potter thing. It's, it's not Harry Potter. That's no, but it's in the the other one. Ah. The 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 fanfic of Harry Potter that everyone knows about. Oh oh oh, oh. the uh, my moles. My immortal. Yes, thank you, thank you. That's the one. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? That's hilarious. We we have something to, to show you later. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. It's hilarious. Um, uh, Taya, could you roll me so? <laughs> Why is it? Oh my fucking god. Randall's fucking ooh ooh blushing. That's because I'm reading. You're enjoying. Uh, could. Yeah, Taya, you roll me. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh what is happening, people? That's still a 12, though. Bad, That's bad rolls. Really bad rolls. You just see Taya, like, just like. She just pulls out a book and. Would, like. How how do you try to hide uh, your daggers with 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 a with what a single book? How would you go about it? I think using the dagger, Taya would have tried to like carve out a little spot between the pages. You know how like yeah. people used to make I'm... those like things. Yeah, no, I'm glad because like that's exactly what I was going to describe. <laughs> but yeah, you, uh, Moran, you just see her just desecrate this one book and just start carving <laughs> into it, and it's. But the worst bit is she's not even like good at it. She's like she's really bad. Like she's just sh turning it to shreds. Yeah, is really like really reconsidering the people that she's gonna escape with. She's like, is this a bad idea? <laughs> like Every this fifty shades of gray guy and this up. book desecrator. Meanwhile, on the other How side awful. of the wall Kano is a fucking on the treadmill, just just running. And they got does, uh, does uh, he just bench. got off the, the rack. Ah, uh, he's just bench he's just benching. A few KG, yeah. I don't Get know. The I bench don't... off his elbows. He, he like wraps like wraps his arms around it to like yeah to like the elbows and then just like he picks up like that. Because mm. he the, can't like use his Fred hands, King. he just uses like yeah. The um the tiefling that is there in the tread on the treadmill, he does they get off, and they are enamored by your skill and uh, per, per, uh, perseverance, and they just stop working out for a bit and they just watch you and just like uh they're spot checking you as like you're uh, you're going. Roll me a strength check if you could. Right. See how well you do. Fucking, hey. he's going. My man's lifting all the weight. He's he's taking him all off the uh, the rack. Popped him on one. After like a good like twenty reps, I just put back up. I just stand up and I, like it looks like I'm trying to do finger guns, but with my gold hands, I just like flick <laughs> towards them. Yeah, <laughs> he he does this. He does the same thing with you because like he like he does. He assumes you want a finger gun, but like he, he he doesn't feel it like it's it's respectful or anything. So he just does it with his fist. He just like does like a, like the same kind of motion that you do. Like yeah, woo yeah. And I just I just I'm done. Well done. But yeah. <sighs> and then going back to to book ripping. All right, what, a through, like, what a beautiful what a beautiful chapter that was. Like book. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple books all ripped up, and I'm like, yeah. I just can't get it to work. Eventually oh, that do. was book two! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the pages are still there. You're just going to have to, you know, puzzle it together. Oh. I don't know if I have the time on my hands, if I'm being honest. I pick up, like, page 150, and I'm like, oh, here's one. And it's got, like, some super, like, spoiler stuff on it. And I, like, hand it over Anastasia to you. Anastasia Steele felt his throbbing. Oh, no, it ends right there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what she feels throbbing. Oh, I wonder God. what, guys. Please. please. But yeah, you. Uh, we should, we should Taya does eventually. Some of this stuff. Taya, you do Rubble's eventually. Voice. You are able to finally um, hide your daggers, but like it's an effort, and you do make a mess in this one corner. <laughs> on Moran is so depressed by this. Her tail is dragging on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no one will notice. It'll no, be fine. I'll, the place is a mess. This, this will help exactly. Uh, hey Kano, can you just go punch that that bookshelf over there? And I pointed this one. What? Why? What? Just go punch it. Just go punch it. 
What's the plan anyway? I, I I came here to talk. It's been a little bit. As I just walk up and just punch it. Roll strength. Yeah. Hey. As Rocky, you hear this commotion, and all the the put the put the person that's taking their shot uh, on the pool table, uh, you see them get spooked immediately from the noise and completely whiff their shot and the white ball gets parted and they just what the fuck man fucking nerds man i swear mind your business <laughs> i i make so much I noise life is meant to be quiet mind Idiot. your business i yell even louder i said be quiet it? libraries are meant to be quiet I throw a book, or I try to like kick a book at him. Stop, stop trying through, to pick a fight. I'm gonna like kick this book like through the through the door out here if I can. Roll for me a dexterity, please. As when Kano does punch that wall, you see a cascade of books collapse, and he goes to kick one of the books out of the end. It does make its way uh, past everyone, but it does just narrowly miss Rocky's ear. And then oh. just like thunk into the pool table and cause some of the balls to jostle. And then what the f oh, that's fucking it. Oh. As you see this guy come over and the guy behind carrying their cues. Uh, there's the sticks for those that don't know. Sorry, I just gotta flex my pool knowledge on you guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Look at me. I know pool cues. Oh, wow. Well, you know. Shut what up, man. Pool cue is. I, I wow. need, it's like you with golf, Sam. I need to. I don't know anything I about know. golf. What have I ever it's said? It's me and golf. I love golf. I know. I'm, I'm just so... Yeah. <laughs> My um, floor wood. When I see them coming, Moran's going to pick up a heavy book. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> chill, They're trying to barge through door. and just make Close their way to But then, like, they see Rocky's everyone. standing in the doorway. What the hell, man? Like, we were having a good game. Just... Hey, I, I talk. I turn to them. They're not worth it, man. They're not worth it. All right. I promise you right now. I said, just go back to your game. I'll make sure they keep quiet. It'll all be good. They better keep quiet or, or kick their ass. I'm not going to It's one be. game of pool, buddy. It's one game of pool. You, 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 you. Oh, I can't even fucking, fucking stupid ass. We'll be as loud as we want to be. Get out! No, no, you won't be, cause you're distracting us. It's not just one game of pool. That's that was that was I I had a whole fucking that I almost had a one two seven. You know that you know what that means. I don't give a crap. I don't care about pool or your game. So no, I don't. The, the audacity. Go back to your game before you get hurt. If I hear one more noise, I'm 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 coming in and I'm kicking all your asses. If you come in here and try to kick my ass, I'm going to shove that poo kill so far up your ass, it's going to come out your mouth. No, I'll do it first. What? Rocky has decided to oh, your own ass first. No, what, no, kind of no, I meant yours, it's not mine. Uh-huh, sure, that's like what Moran, it like. Moran's going to, like, laugh at that, like, out loud. <laughs> what are you laughing, huh? <laughs> confused. Yeah, it's funny. Just Randall just gets confused. <laughs> You're going to shove it up your own ass. Whoa, what? <laughs> you, you, th you think this is some kind of joke? I think one, you're two, the seven. joke here. Oh, that's it. He goes to swing at Rocky. Why what? are you swinging at him? Oh, shoot! What he's, about the... he's trying to get through, yeah, like, Rocky's in his way, so he's just like the yeah, only... Like, block it? I wanna, I wanna block hey, it. Um, okay, you go ahead, man. Guys, the, the person who can block it is the one who has the sentinel feet, which is <laughs> me. Uh, uh, when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack <laughs> against a target other than you, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack. I'm going to do that now. They're not, Sorry? It's ten feet away from you. Uh, oh, you're so right. <laughs> yeah. You see, That's with a bummer. I thought yeah. I was next to Rocky. Can I just like scoot up? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll allow it. But yeah, like as he as he goes Thank like. Thank you, Kaz. No, worries. as he goes to s get like smack Rocky over the head with his Q. Um, the sixteen hit. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> but like, um, what did, had uh, what did you want to do, sorry, Moran, with your sentinel? Um, I'm gonna hit him with an improvised weapon, which is my book. All right, we got a we got a raid. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you, Catharsis, for the raid. Hello, Game Catharsis. 
Um, yeah. If Moran, you could roll me an attack, please. Um, as uh, Rocky, you get this cue just snap off on the top of your head as you take five damage as it just crashes into you. I did the wrong thing. Definitely. So that's just like a strength roll, right? Because it's a melee attack. Yes, please. I did give you unarmed strike. Oh, no, I actually don't. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Let's go. Oh, I would like to specify that I'm doing non-lethal damage. No, right. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> you, End of this man. As like you End swing. End of this man's old career. Yeah. You, you have this very thick book. The Catharsis on Gaming. A guide to pool. <laughs> you... <laughs> you just thrash you like as like it, the pool cue snaps off rocky's head you just swing oh like you just like kind of like do a little leap to get a bit of air and just like elegantly just s sweep down almost like like it was um like like it was a sword like what you're used to but it's a book so instead of slashing it just like cr not crashes but thuds right into his face and you feel this just shock just send down uh, your arm and this person's body and Rocky and like everyone else you guys are kind of like in just like s just amazement as like Moran out of nowhere has just like fucking done this um and she says back up with the way I do my improvised weapons what would a book be I mean I guess like the closest thing would technically be a club roll a d4 for me or two d4s please she's definitely hit someone with a book before that was way too rehearsed that was awesome as like when the book gets pulled back off his face it peeled like it feels like you peeled it off his skin almost uh you can see his face is red flat and the layering is embossed so you could see the words in reverse uh <laughs> the catharsis on gaming a guide to pool just like imprinted in his face as he just like collapses onto the ground and just falls back oh i didn't mean to hit him that hard as you see the other person behind, just like, oh, oh I'll, I'll step up, I'll, I'll step up and put down the That was you. great. A great audition. <laughs> I start clank <laughs> clanking my hands together. Oh, uh, please don't. I was As just you... worried that he was, you know, going to stab you with a pool cue. Ah, gosh. Well, what's done is done. Uh, and she's gonna <laughs> drop the book and put it down on the table. <laughs> As you go to put it down on the table, you can see the mess Kano made uh, with the pile of books up, like, just crashed to the ground over here. And a lot of them are damaged, and, like, the wood has splintered and broken off. You now, see... Now, Taya, your, your thing won't be nearly as, as obvious. Your thing will not be what is focused on. There is something that Thank is you. obvious, though, behind this bookshelf here that, like, has been broken. Revealing a, another crawl space. Um... And you can see just the, you can see the faint flickering of candles, just like um, lighting off the uh, the walls over here, um, off like the, the the stone carved walls into this crawl space to behind the books. And Moran, you feel the um, the strings of the weave being pulled from within. All right. As if it's okay with you guys, we're gonna take a quick break. Hell yeah. Sure. Sweet. Cool. How long? Uh, about five, ten minutes. Um, All right. Do, do you cool. want? Which, like, if you feel more, we can take more. No, uh, I'll probably be closer to the ten-minute side of it, though. No worries. Uh, we'll probably be more anyway, knowing what we're like. Um, so yeah, chat. We're gonna take a quick break. I'll have a little chat with you guys in a hot second to uh, talk about our sponsors again and all the cool things. And uh, but yeah, we'll be back in about five, ten minutes. Uh, before we get back, we're gonna throw a quick pre-roll on. Just so anyone that joins the next half hour doesn't get any ads or anything. But I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm having a blast. I hope my players are having a good time. But yeah, we'll see you in a hot second. Bye.
bonsoir hello chat um but yeah I, I hope you guys are having fun um i'm having a blast as i was saying earlier um it's it's a very fun fun group of players um but yeah uh before we take a proper break i'm just going to talk, quickly talk about our sponsors and all the cool things um firstly is um I'll, i'm going to talk about the discord and the merch and just all the things if you've been enjoying the art that's been on stream um if you've enjoyed the maps specifically those are all done by two minute tabletop uh, or the assets are done by two minute tabletop and i just apply extra effects and uh, uh um give it a bit of like just a bit of a bit of castle dazzle if you will but generally most of the assets and almost everything how it looks is um fresh out of the package two minute tabletop stuff go check out their work they do ross does amazing stuff along with his team um but if you enjoy all the character art and all just like the visuals of the, the entire stream and you want to see more come check out my instagram my twitter it's i i post every week i post at least one thing every week but i when i'm not posting uh it's probably because i'm on holiday or on a little quick break but usually because we've got throwing top sands or we've got this i will have art at least once a week from like handouts and other stuff that are, that are, that are happening um and if you enjoy the community and you want to see more of the stuff we do hop in our discord we do uh, we do a bunch of cool stuff it's we do have a weekly uh, west marches game uh, or try to have it weekly uh three sessions a week and we also have um the what's it called um we also have art nights every week um so if you wanna if you wanna partake in the, all the cool community stuff we do, hop in hop in the Discord. We we, we it's all there. Uh, finally, there is um, the sponsors. So our first sponsor we're gonna talk about is Bard RPG, which is the uh, the Kickstarter I worked on and I did art for. Um, they it is a genre and um, game agnostic um, compendium designed to help storytelling and build narrative. Uh, both as a GM and both as players uh, and collaboratively build a story and if that's something that you think is interesting and would be cool go go check it out go support it it's got like another I think this is the last week of it on Kickstarter so go go check go to the things uh, next is Dice Roll which is a really cool um, sponsor that is a uh, local um, sponsor uh, local to the UK and they do a bunch of cool gemstone, metallic, and resin dice. And I think some of them are honestly gorgeous. I love a lot of the stuff that's on the on the shop. And if you are interested in that, go check out. I didn't put my affiliate link in there, but go check out diceroll.uk slash um, And you can go you can go get all the things. Uh, next is Phoenix Dice, which do a bunch of also similar stuff, uh, a bunch of dice, but they also have uh, some cool accessories uh, for tabletop uh, gaming as well. And if you want to get 20% off your purchase, go uh, go use TAS2022. Uh, secondly, is uh, or thirdly, is uh, Games by B, who are similar to Phoenix Dice, only but instead of doing um, doing dice, they specifically do like stuff like uh, TTRPG, TTRPG accessories to, to bring to the table when you're playing, such as uh, dice trays, bags, patches, and pencil cases. And for 10% off with them, use TAS2022. Uh, finally, well, not finally. There is the two pod, the two only podcasts in existence. Uh, the first, just very mundane, which is by our very own Jacob. Uh, go check it out; it's hilarious. Jacob's hilarious. You should go. You should go support him and give him all the love. He does some wonderful stuff, and I, I know, I know, it's hilarious. Next is we're so fucking sorry, which is uh, Sammy and her friend Lucy, who are very chaotic, very fun, very entertaining people. And you should go check out their unique brand of chaos that is on their podcast. It's so much fun. Uh, they are also on Twitter. Uh, fucking sorry. <laughs> and finally, uh, Georgia Marjorie. Georgia is uh, the who plays Low Nico on uh, Throne Top Sands. She uh, she is a jeweler, and she creates amazing silver and uh, sterling silver pendants and rings and earrings, and necklaces, and all sorts of stuff. And she's recently released the Silver Dragon's Horde which is a collection of D&D themed pendants. And um, there's the fighter, rogue, and um, dungeon master, and they're all gorgeous. And you should go check them out and get them. You should. Yeah. And one last sponsor is Throne of Top Sands, which is, um, which is, which is our Dean, which is the main D&D stream. This is just a uh, side story focusing on Rocky. But if you want to learn why Rocky is here and all the events that have led up to this, go check out Throne of Top Sands. 
Uh, it's a wonderful non-Eurocentric setting based on Japan and uh, Japanese and Indian mythology, and it's such a fun time. The cast are beautiful uh, and wonderful, and it's just just it's the best time. And like this is just this goes in with that. It's like this is part of the canon. This is this would be part of the uh, the order of the story. So if you want to know the whole all all the events, keep keep following. But yeah. I'll see you guys in a hot second. We'll be right back. Uh, yeah, before we get back, we can throw pre-rolls off for a half an, uh, an hour and a half. But yeah, we'll see you in a hot second. Thank you. 
Work too hard, my break the backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never lack though. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Beside your trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door, she at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. Allen girl, blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out of the line like this to probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day one. Too many on going. Two. Too crazy and I got Three. bad ones and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's in the whip, we left that. Six. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit, 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 lit. Good times. Living in the moment, feel like summertime. Obsessed with nature, not a word of mine. The room is spinning, but I feel fine. Oh, my, oh, my. Chandelier, limousines. Really think we're seeing things. Read the line in mid-between. Yellow light, I got to speed up. Need that pronto. Look, look like a rave at the condo. Heck of a night in Toronto. She said, boy, you Morocco. Pearl White mentioned in the top go. Fill up my cup with the pot woe. High off life in the spot though. Running at the visa. Really talking to a real life Mona Lisa. Jesus piece is hanging off the fleece. So much going on, it's hard to focus on the features. I got one. Too many, I'm going. Two. Too crazy, and I got Three. bad ones, and they ready. Time, so now it's in the way we left us. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit, 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 lit. Good times. Living in the moment, feel like summertime. Obsessed with nature, not a world of mine. The room is spinning, but I feel fine. Oh, my, oh, my. Bonsoir. Welcome back. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, Hello. Yeah. Hi. To those who, who may have just joined us, we have just come back, or the party have just uh, had a very cursed little uh, set of dice rolled in the library after um, essentially gathering uh, gathering together and like preparing a potential like force to break out of prison. Um, and while defending Rocky, as uh, some pool players were trying to like hassle the entire party, 
uh, Moran came in with the save, bonked a boy onto the ground, and uh, and Kane has also caused a book uh, bookshelf to to collapse. Uh, and now uh, they found a little tunnel behind the bookshelf, and they're making their way through it. So I'm gonna put the music. I'm gonna take this music off. As I get this How music. Fucking tunnels does this prison have? Oh, that was very ominous when like the music came in for me. Just the perfect amount. Yeah. Um, Ooh, if you guys least, want, to, if you guys want to step through, um, actually, I'd say even Kano, being part Tiefling, you do feel these strange webs beyond the bookshelf, like through the tunnel, Still and like in here. <laughs> it's like it's you don't aren't very you aren't super in tune with it, but every now and then you do feel these webs, uh, just around you. And stepping in, Kano. You, the floor is, it's another crawl space, uh, but the floor is uh, tatami, uh, mats. I think that's how you pronounce them. I'll have to look into it. Um, the tatami? Balls, tatami, that's it. Thank you. I, mm -hmm. I knew my brain fired. Um, <laughs> Taya, you going in? And Rocky, you going in? Uh, There's a hole uh, beyond the bookshelf. If you don't want to, you don't need to. Yeah, Taya will go in. Step into every yeah, hole I see. You're absolutely right. Got distracted. No worries. Yeah, you guys can make. Oh your my! There Bye. she is. You guys can make your way through uh, this tunnel, which is very similar to yours, Randall. But as you guys get to the end of the crawl space, you can see uh, the candle flickers. As you can see, a fort of books and the smell of it smells like a library in here. Bro, as the you guards can... in this fucking prison suck. <laughs> as you can see, like just a millions of books littering the entire floor amongst. Millions. And like creating like a fort and like like a like walls of books amongst hordes of pillows, as you can see a tiefling woman, uh, who is uh, just reading. She doesn't even like notice you guys step in. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, that as... thought my place was flammable. <laughs> do we recognize this? You library goers, you I do. do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is um, Lo Erina. If I pull up my uh, description of her. Uh, Lower Erina is a pink tiefling with horns that kind of uh, mimic uh, a gradient of the setting sun. So they go from like pink to orange to yellow. Um, oh. And you can see her, like she's got these giant round blue tinted shades that hide gentle yellow eyes behind them. Uh, her hair is in a short white bob style of uh, haircut. And you can just see her oh. just like focusing on her, uh, her books as like her like robes. She has like a cardigan like um, over new nook discovered yeah as you can see um a cardigan wrapped over and you'll notice i haven't made a token for her so she's just got the basic prison fire uh <laughs> like is the new nook where we could spawn at if we die <laughs> you just <laughs> see fire. you just hear her flicking through her page that she's reading and you can see that she's got bonfire a bunch of other lit. books uh <laughs> oh thank you thank you bonfire mm. a bunch of other books uh written um open around her I'm going to change um, the music. No, I'm not. When we come in... Actually, I am. I, uh, I'm going to go... Oh, Loerina. As you step in, she looks up. Oh? Oh, oh, hello. Uh, would you have told her know. your... Would you have told her your name? Yeah, I, I, I've, I've met her once. H hello, hello, Moran. And she goes back to her book. But then she it looks just, back up. Like... Yeah. You would say sorry, Taya? No, I'm just you're reading in your little private nook and then five people come in and you're like, yeah, Oh like, yeah, that's chill. Exactly. <laughs> she like she doesn't like bat an eye for a moment, but then she looks back up and you see her eyes go wide as she looks around at all three of you guys. Oh, all five of you guys, sorry. Five. Oh, oh, sorry, five. I couldn't count for a second. I was thinking about just the library folks. How 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 did how did you find how how did you get how did you get in here? Why are you here? Uh what do you Sorry. want? Sorry. Nothing. Nothing at all. We, um, we noticed that there was a, well, something behind the bookshelf, and so we checked it out. We didn't mean to disturb you. This is adorable. <laughs> well, as long as you're quiet, I guess, I guess you can stay in my nook, I guess. Um, Thanks. does anyone else know? No, no, definitely not. Good. Did you, did you, but, um, did you close the shelf before you came through? I look at uh, Kano. 
<laughs> I just I just looked down. <laughs> well, what's wrong? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Start blinking like insanely. <laughs> oh. Well, there was a bit of an altercation. <laughs> oh, it's not my fault. It's his. And I point at, at, at Randall. He told oh. me to punch it. Was that the noise? Yes. Oh. I mean, to be fair, I pointed at any bookshelf on that wall, and you went for this one, so it was kind of your fault. You told me. You told me that one specifically. No, I did not. Hey, hey, Aaron. You even pinged it. <laughs> my eyes are. My eyes. <laughs> my eyes are going crazy. Moran like like puts like a hand. Like on, on Kano's arm, like, shh, for a second. Hold on. Hello, Arena. I have a question. Yes? If we, uh, you know, go out there and clean up the bookshelf as best we can and keep this place a total secret, do you mind if we stash some things here? She looks at all her books. Looks oh, at you. Room in here. Oh, yeah, I, I think I think I think I think that 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 be that be allowed. You you could you could hide stuff in my hidey hole. Thank you so much. We'll go outside and clean up now then. Thank you. And she doesn't even like notice you guys leave. But she's gone back to her book. If you guys are leaving, to go sort other books. I'm out of here. Yeah. Speed oh, no. <laughs> run <right> through that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hey, Randall, glad you can make Dang, it. Dang, I zoomed all the way out on accident, and now I have no idea where I am. No, right, I got you. Zoom in. I'll follow you. So I guess we should replace uh, this shelf with a uh, actual... Yeah. yeah, here, let's move this shelf, this broken one, over to, the to like, here, this part of the wall where I'm at. And then put this shelf where it actually should be. Exactly. Good idea. Mm-hmm. Now you do it because you're the strong one. Uh, I can't grab it. I can't pull it. I, I try. Like, you could uh, kind of do that. Roll, angle. roll strength. Pull me. Hey, look at you. You know you can do more than you think. Wow, this is like IKEA. Like it's really like you know you know sort of like uh, like they just have like sort of pieces of wood in between some cardboard. It's sort of like that stuff. It's really IKEA like... was is was the greatest artificer of all time. <laughs> Oh, you wrote that one down. <laughs> His furniture was legendary. Ikea the architecture. Architect, <laughs> artificer. But yeah, I, when well, you... I just move this shelf over so that it's still a secret, but the broken one yeah. is not in front of the hole. Yeah, you are able to like, just drag and you are making a bunch of noise as you're just screeching the wood against the stone. And like, when you move the other bookcase, you reveal like, it's like, just like the dust. Um, you disturb a bunch of the dust on the top of the books, and some of the books do spill out as like you're moving it. Um, and you can just I'll see. I'll help catch them. <laughs> I check well... if any are Fifty Shades, uh, Fifty Scales of Dragon Volume Two. Oh, that's good. Like Fifty that. Scales. Of... Fifty Scales of Grey. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. I'm just saying, Grey Dragon. I, I have it. it in my. I have it in my item, so I have to have this actually done. <laughs> yeah, right. Now. Fifty Scales of Grey. Yeah, got it. Um, volume One. Roll, you roll perception, Randall. Uh, Moran, could you roll dexterity to try catch all the books or slide a hand? How many volumes of 50 scales of gray are there? There's for at least four, I think, because there's four books. Or is there three <laughs> books? I don't know, man. I think they split the second one or the third one into two movies. I hate that I know all this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sus. Well, we went to go see the I went, I mean, we went to go see the second one in theaters. <laughs> we saw it in theaters together. <laughs> But yeah, Kano, you are yeah. You as you screeching it, Randall is like zooming and searching through all the books, and Moran is like trying to catch most of the books. Uh, most of them are falling out of like through her hands, but like she does catch a few books, and the last book she catches, uh, Randall, amongst uh, all the other volumes, you find a few repeat um, uh, other like prints of uh, the same version of uh, Fifty Scales of Grey. But you see, this Moran is a has the next. Hell, like... <gasps> Moran's the last book Moran picks, and the one that is like facing upwards, is the second volume of Fifty Scale of the Grey. Yoink! <laughs> I I, I see Randall allowed. yoink it. All right, there's yeah. there's five. And I just raise an eyebrow. Don't give me that look. 
All right. It's a dragonborn thing. Whatever you say. Is this like the Busty Argonian? Yeah, the Lusty Argonian. Oh, is it Lusty Argonian? No, there's only three. Never mind. There's only three. I'm just gonna now like peek out here and see if anything's changed since last time we uh we were in there. You do see the uh, the one that like was knocked out. He's still his face is still red, and like they see the people that were playing pool. They watch. They see you peek out, but they go back to doing their business. As they as soon as they realize it's you're still in there. And you can see everyone else, like, the group that were playing on the crane dance, they've stopped playing. And you just I'll see like them watching the monitors. And, like, step onto this guy and then move down here. <laughs> yeah, I, like, grab a, one of the pool cues and, and, like, drop it onto him, like, as if, like... Like, as if, he, as he if did I, this like, just knocked him out. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. As you guys step out into the room, could you roll for me a, um... A what's the word? A perception uh, check. Just see if you guys had it coming. See if you guys are just like listening to like the the news and the uh... dear. Oh ah, shit, man. Moran! No worries, six nine. Whoa. Nice. Hey, okay. we got Moran's never been this here. sharp in her life. She hasn't. <laughs> With that twenty four, you actually there's a few things. Oh, you'll notice. Um, the first is just like. Kano and um I was gonna say happy for a second, that's Taya. Rocky, you you're focused on the guy knocked out. Randall, you're too busy just dropping a pool cue on him. To like even like <laughs> catch anything around you. Um You um Kano, uh Taya and Moran, you guys hear on the radio and like you can hear the radio in the corner of the room. You can hear it just like as like the music is happening like it does uh slowly lead into the news and you can just hear like uh various uh, uh various stories being told um the first being mentioning um mentioning of um the fires of Taj Mahal uh, had finally settled uh with the refugees making their way uh, along the coast and had f uh, finally found safety amongst themselves at a camp and the second bit of news that you overhear is the Aiden army continues making their way south of Haida Eo and Kengala. And they're struggling to hold uh, that. Um, and Kengala is struggling to hold their territories as the earthquake continues to swallow the southeast of Sri Leo. As you... I don't know what any of this <laughs> No worries. It's uh, Adesha <laughs> is the uh, Earth Kingdom. Kengala is the. I've been, in, I've been in prison way too long. You have. You're too far. You, you come from fire, so it's not, not that important to you, you think. Um, you do also see this um, this screen here. Uh, this screen here is um, just like a security cam footage of the courtyard outside, and it's just showing various aspects. And you can see outside uh, patrolling amongst the um, the people that are, like, are playing basketball and like uh, tending the garden, or the little like sh uh, gardens that are in the corner. Uh, you see these giant lion wolf creatures, uh, Kamainu, who are some of the patrol beasts that, um, that search around. or well, not search around, but like they just like patrol the, the prison every now and then. And Moran, with your perception, you you get a sense of the weave again still, and like you can sense like the um, you sense low air in a, uh, behind her book, uh, bookshelf. She's still reading away. But you also sense something from here. Something strange that makes you cringe for a moment. Oh, cringe. Yeah, you feel like It's a you're... weeb. <laughs> He's doing an anime dance. <laughs> wow. You feel like something um like this got like you feel this like this cringing just presence that goes down to your bones. And feels almost Is like it... It's it's very subtle, but like you can you do sense it, and it's very. When you when you say cringing, do you mean that it's very uncomfortable? Yeah, it makes you it makes you feel very comfortable. You feel oh, like it's flossing. Oh my god! Like I like I pick up like <laughs> a like a bad vibe. Is it is it scary in any way, or is it just like uncomfortable and unsettling? Uncomfortable and unsettling. You 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 don't get any specific vibes off it. Though. Okay. It's just like it's just her innate abilities, like her sensitivity to the world around her. Like she didn't actually hear anything, right? Yeah, it's just like her, her innate just insight or a present. Okay. Just ability to pre uh, as like 
vibe check the world essentially and like the right uh, right gives off. as tieflings can do hmm. um okay i guess i'll she's kind of like curiosity got the cat type person she's gonna slowly just sort of on her own head over there and anybody who wants to come should come with me because i'm kind of freaked out go what what's happening <laughs> More she's got a weird look on her face, like something strange is going on, and she's gonna yeah, take a look through. at the the door. Yeah, this you know this door leads to the storage room of the common room, and I'm gonna open it up. And this room isn't lit. Uh, the light comes from the the common room. Uh, I'll describe all that stuff. If you want to roll for me, <laughs> as you guys step in, could you also roll for me a? Those are stepping in. Could you roll a investigation check? Uh, could I? Uh, I, I I hold Rocky's shoulder before he steps in, mm -hmm. oh. and uh, I just go, Rocky. I I just want you to know that uh, where where are your crew now? Where are your family? Moran, there she went out of her way to try to help you in that situation, even though she theoretically didn't have to. Mm. So you got to you're with us now. We're your family in here. We all get out of here together. I, uh, Captain. I, uh, I do a little, like, salute nod. Is this Sonic? Right, there's, there's no Captain. There's no no need for that here. I, uh, Dragon. <laughs> I'll take I it. Grab, I grab the Furby and the Sonic. Yeah. The Furby? Rocks, rocks for life. Kano, as <laughs> Furby? You, Let's all get in there. As you step in, <laughs> you, you see... Like, you know these, like, the, the, the stuffed animals you see around the place? Like, the, you do see a Sonic. And you do see a Furby. Um, <laughs> you see, but you notice that they are like very much worse for wear. Uh, give me a second as I. Find hey, I'll the, care for them. Okay. Give me a second as I find the thing I wanted to talk about. When I talk about, I wanted to mention where is the storage room. So I wrote down my notes. Bastard. It's very dark in here. It is. Oh, you don't have blind sight. Nope. Yeah. Uh, I do. Hey, and dark vision. You do. As you step in, you get the, the smell of mold and dust is very uh, thick, and it just like smacks you in the face immediately. The air, the air feels old and dusty, and like although she lifts her her howry to her mouth and like breathes through it. Mm. As really like, wish I had me hat right now to cover <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> As like, uh, you. Rocky with Rocky doesn't. Use that. your kitchen apron. Oh yeah, that's true. You got to be there. Uh, I Rocky like... is a <laughs> Yeah, no worries. Tail, uh, you stepping in as well? Um, yeah. If everyone else says. Yeah. If like, um, I don't think Taya, uh, ran ran up. You're stepping in as well, and Rocky. If you guys want to roll investigation checks as you step in as well. If you Absolutely. When when you guys step in, um, like yeah, the smell is immediate. And like it's very dry in here, and like you can just see like the walls are lined, uh, like wall to wall is lined with old furniture and objects that relate to like the common room. Uh, you, you can see like old furniture, uh, old uh, plushies, and just like uh, gym uh, gym gear, old books, and just 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 a, just a bunch of things, just like cascading the walls, and you can see cobwebs thick, um, just line like a deck, like creating like. Um, bunting around the entire room and like latching onto everything they can um and like what did you get 15 16 and 11 perfect taya and and um and rocky as you guys step in you your eyes immediately see something in the corner of your eyes here just glitch into existence as you see a white like uh set of squares form in the world and moran you feel us start sensing a strange presence again of just cring like cringe inducing pain that causes you to wince as you feel like it feels like you're like it's exposed bone is like why it's like like that's what it feels like when you get this uh sense Whoa. and kano even you in like a sudden moment you get this strange wincing wince inducing pain as well just flash through your entire body um you you uh moran and taya i mean not moran and taya 
Raki and Tear, you see like this, like that 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 glitch into existence, and like as it like is like parting from itself, it goes to red, to blue, green, to blue, and just becomes white again as it converges on itself. And you see this strange, uh, pulsing orange egg thing, that like you can see just like kind of like plop itself in the corner, and you can see the oh. walls. You notice, uh, Rocky and uh, Taya, as like amongst all the uh, the garbage and clutter and like. It's like just like in everything you can see these orange eggs all over the room. Hey, it's gonna step out. <laughs> He's not having any of that. I, uh, I can't someone see throw it. The, someone throw Randall walks forward. <laughs> I'm gonna wait, wait, wait. Uh, Randall, stop. Randall, hold on. Yeah, Randall, you don't what even. What is it? What's what? What? What is it? Uh, just hold up. I don't. I don't know how to describe. It's a weird flicker thing. Uh, Rocky wants to grab the Furby and throw it in there. I, it's in my hands, or I'm trying to grab it, at least. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll for me uh, dexterity, Rocky, and then with disadvantage, Kano, could you roll me a dexterity save? So I have a regular, he has a disadvantage? Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> no worries. You, like, I see Kano no, trying to struggling to hold on to the baby. You rip it open. I, I like, did not realize he was holding it. I, it's okay. <laughs> you like just instinctively like you 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 know what this is. You recognize. Cannon, I need that. Yeah. You 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 oh. know what's up. You and you grab the Furby and just toss it at the at the the the, the glitching glitch in the world. And yeah. As like it's about to like disappear, uh, you see like the Furby uh, shell uh, like what the carton that was inside it has been like, torn out and like has flown in the air as you tossed it. Once it hit the glitch, it fell in. And like... Uh, it just uh, like brushes past the egg and kind of nudged the egg further into the crevice of the room. And Kano, as you see this cotton like explode, the guts of this Furby um, just rip out and just like fall all over you. You see amongst it some of the eggs as well fall to your feet. Mirrors that's that's um, why, uh, yeah. And that's What's why we don't approach that thing. What thing? What the fuck? What was that? It's a weird glitch in the world. Uh, it's a it's glitch. Not, it's not the first time I've encountered something similar to this, but uh, I probably won't be the last either. Um, it's a... I, I can't explain it. I just know that uh, you don't want to go inside it because there's not much uh, joy that comes from that. Yeah. What else do I know about it, Kaz, that I could relay? Mm. You, you. to be fair, you didn't ever get a chance to, like, learn much about it. Because, like, you, when they learned more, it was when they went into Isotope. All you knew yeah. was a big deal, and it was a problem uh, when you saw this the first time. I'm going to change the music to the spooky explore music oh. when I find the playlist. <laughs> it's essentially um, a world eater. Uh, I think it's... Uh... Yeah, that's, that's what you know it is. What? It's uh, it, it's gonna grow, and there's multiple around the world, and they keep growing, and eventually, I think the whole world will be consumed, if not uh, much greater than the world will be consumed. It's not exactly a thing we uh, want to mess with. I was actually, I was actually before I was uh, so uh, terribly arrested, I, I I went to go investigate, find out more information about it. My old compadres, uh, compatriots, they, they know a little bit more than I do, but I'm sure. Uh, God bless their soul. Uh, but I, I I, just, I don't know. I don't know much more than that. I just know it's a bad news bears and that we should get the heck out of Dodge. Well, don't hopefully, worry. we'll get you out of here. Hopefully your friends will fix it soon. Hopefully your friends will fix it soon. We'll kind get of you problem here so you can help Mel fix in it, right? Well, I think now I have an even bigger reason to get out of this prison. All of us do. Because I gotta go find my friends and I gotta go tell them what's what. Because it's not gonna stop. And I gotta, f I gotta go help them. It's been a minute since I've seen them. And I, I gotta be honest, I, I'm kind of missing them. So kind of friends I haven't known long, but we became friends fast. I, Just like I, I know how that you. feels. Just like us, maybe. <laughs> Just like us. What's your name? Uh, Rocky. Oh, what's your name? Kano. <laughs> Kano, all right. Good to meet you. <laughs> but yeah. So I say, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Randall, sir, uh, I think that uh, 
whatever plan you had to get out of this prison, I think we got to expedite that. Because this prison won't be a prison much longer if this thing gets a hold of it. Well, I mean, I guess let's get to work then on, on that plan. <laughs> All right. I will also add, um, Taya and uh, Randall, when you did... Um, before you saw the eggs, you did also see like this arcade machine uh, that's bust, and you could see um, various bits of like technology, like just like um, like damaged uh, parts. But some of the parts didn't look to be damaged as well. Like if you wanted to like take some of the tech, you could scavenge it if you wanted to. Amongst uh, I'll re absolutely. relay that information, but I'm not going back in that room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I'll try as best I can to get some technology out of it. Go ahead. Roll for me a slide of hand to see if you like can retrieve. Um, am I back? Can you guys hear me? Perfect. I can hear you, yeah. 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 Oh, perfect. I'll cast Guidance on... on a... Who's making the check? Randall. Uh, me. So, wait, sorry. So, so you cast Guidance on Randall, so add a D4. Okay. What, um, as like, if you want to roll a D4 for me. Um, when Moran casts guidance, you see amongst all the darkness, you can see a another sh like the same shadow from earlier leap off of her, and you do see like it kind of it does hold onto Moran for a moment, but then when it reaches over to you, Randall, it doesn't touch you, but you see it kind of just point and guide your uh, your eyes through this um, through this arcade machine that um, that you're looking in. And like, so as I didn't you, see that there. Yeah, like you, you, you see a shadowy hand point. You don't, you don't think much of it because you, you do have, you haven't got the best eyesight in the dark anyway. But like when you, when you look in, uh, first of all, the cabinet you see is, um, you see, it's got the picture of a white, or not white, sorry, a blue genie character with purple hair leaping through a bunch of portals. Uh, and like you can see, like amongst all the scratched paint, it's. Um, you can see the title of the game, Ermia and the Multiverse. And as you, um, as like you're like just scavenge, scavenging the parts of Ermia, the Ermia and the Multiverse's innards, I guess you could say, and um, the various. What a dark concept. <laughs> oh no. I shouldn't use that word. Ripping apart Ermia. Yeah. You find a bunch of uh, some, 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 uh, some things that you, you, you don't know you, if you can do anything much with them. Um, but you find might. you find ten feet worth of unfrayed wires, a button pad, a crane claw, three memory cards, a motherboard, and an assortment of computer chips. And like, um, those of you that like were also like in the room, you could all, you also saw a few like bar poles, um, uh, or like a gym bar pole thingies. And you know those could be improvised as uh, quarter staffs if you wanted to use them. Uh, could you please send me that list? I will. Uh, okay, thank you. And I will like note like although um, you guys may not know much much about uh, engineering or like um, or computing or magical computing, I guess you do know that like you can. You you reckon there is someone here that like would be able to help you, or you could even read a book on it. Well, Kano over here, like, haven't you been in, like, and like doing the shop stuff a lot? Huh? Like, I believe Kano haven't you been working in the shop? I was working. I know you got engineer, hand yeah. problems, but you got, like, you got the know-how, probably. Yeah. <laughs> what? Be able to help Sorry. You. Was... Like, you just see him just sort of, like, like come to just, what was happening? Hmm. I'm just taking apart this, uh, this arcade machine for potential parts we can use. For I don't know some sort of mechanism later in escape, but you would probably be what the do you one want to me know to how of that. Well, you might know what to do. What, well, what do you want to use it for? Like a bomb or something? Ooh, that, see exactly. There you go. You <laughs> you know what's up. And like as you guys are saying that, uh, Taya, you see some guards uh, step into the room. Oh. And they're just hey, we may want to scatter. Like now? Like yesterday. All right. Wait, are we trying Come to on, hide? Come on, let's move. 
Is our gold? I mean, there's high? guards, and I don't think we should be in here. Um, I want to go ahead and use my uh. Wait, guys, before y'all leave, come back real quick. Hey, okay, okay. What's up? What do you got? What do you got, buddy? What's the plan? I want to go ahead and use my uh merge with stone. Um, pass without trace. Uh, it's yeah, it's pass without trace, yeah. but it's yeah, the fan term. It's or merge with stone. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I believe I can use that on this many people. Yeah, I forget how many people you can. You can. Because I remember you used okay. it on the full party. So everyone, I believe, gets a plus 10 on the stealth roll if you all want to yeah. try and stealth. Uh, as you see Rocky begin to like glimmer and like kind of glisten like a gemstone. <laughs> and Very <he's>... unstealthily. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see like through the glimmer, he Places. like, it almost becomes glassy. So you can almost see through him for like a moment as like the light refracts off, off these shine. Uh, these bits and you guys start beginning to glimmer as well and also have the same kind of effects to where you're becoming a lot more um stealthy. Ooh, i got a 30 yeah. i got a 30 on nice stealth. can i, I describe what, what happens to me with my 26 go ahead i i like go over here and i grab a cloth and i throw it over top of myself and as as it like clatters over top of me i look exactly like a chair with a cloth over it <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> and sorry, we get advantage on our on no, no, our stuff. You get, you get or... plus ten. So Taya would actually get, oh, get uh, twenty four. Damn. Okay. okay. So then I would have gotten twenty five. Nice. I'm gonna slip into the exercise room. Go ahead. You're... I'm jumping into the arcade machine that I just disemboweled. Go ahead. Oh gosh. <laughs> I wanna just. <laughs> I'm gonna hide under a cushion, just hold it up. No, um, <laughs> why are there so many Furbies? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a like that you crane dance, the, the game, uh, that like you've, you've seen. You know, it's like the the prison, a lot of prisoners actually use them as support animals. That like a lot um, of the only toys they have in prison are Furbies and, and when, a Sonic. As you're trying to I'm look for hide, yeah, mm -hmm. as you as you're yeah, trying I was to say, that's a true horror. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As Rocky, you're trying to hide. Um, you actually see something in the crane dance uh, in the box. Amongst all okay. the Furbies, you can see just the. You you aren't sure you see it, but like you you for a second like you, like it kind of like it, like a memory kind of glazes over in in the spot. Similar to how like um, when you initially were imprisoned, you had um, you were you were certain Shiki was there with you for a moment. The same situation as you see with inside amongst all these these Furbies, you can see you can see the tiny green Shiba Inu sleeping amongst all of uh all of these Furbies. Shiki? Yeah. I say kinda of like whisper into myself. Shake like do I, can I walk up to the machine? You can. I, I like slightly tap the glass. Trying to see. Hey. Shiki? Mm -hmm. Hello? As you, as you tap on the glass, you see she wakes up. Hey! And she smiles. Where do you... I smile back, very, like, very toothy, toothy grin. Um, hey! Who's a good girl? Hey! She tilts uh. her head, and you see <laughs> she smokes like how she, no like how she normally would steam. <laughs> Smokes um, a cigarette. Uh. <laughs> she just starts steaming as she normally would, and she she Ooh. makes her way over you, and like she like she starts playing with the Furbies as she's like jumping over to you. Hi, I'm like tap patting pat, patting my legs. Hey, uh, does she run up to me? Like the she guards knows. are here. The guards are walking by, but they don't look at you. Okay, that's that's God bless. Um, they I, is... but the she does jump out at you. And she, she, you, see, you feel her like just circle around your legs. I, I'm like trying to pet her, like, mm -hmm. you know, do that like butt scratch the dogs like, you know. Yeah. Like. As you start scratching at her and start patting her, you feel like you're touching just the air. And as oh. the guard walks by, you hear a voice just suddenly spook you. Hey, you. Did did you open this room? Um. Uh, no. Okay. Make, <laughs> make sure the door's shut. Okay, next time, don't, like if no one's no one's meant to be in here. Listen, I've been I've been practicing my fur uh, fur delicious stuff. So I I, I uh, but yeah, I'll I'll uh, make sure I'll keep that down locked for sure. Yeah, uh, your 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 fur delicious looks good. 
Uh, he, he's, they say in a very confused way as they just make right. their way to continue. Thank you, and I wink. <laughs> I wink. He turns before you even get to like wink at him. Ah. Oh. Have just a make, good one. I say, yell. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you too, I guess. <laughs> and then they go over. To, you see them go over to the one that's like knocked down the floor. Uh, to the yeah, the guy knocked down the floor, and you can just hear like them having a conversation about to like this uh this person over here. Hmm. Okay. And like, and like so a is, few. Sorry, gone. Yeah, Shiki's gone, right? Yeah, no, Shiki's still around you. She's still playing. Okay. With you. I, I... Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? And I, I just uh... asked that. <laughs> As like you see her walk in between your legs, before she crosses the threshold of your other leg, she you don't see she like steams away. So it's as if like she oh. like kind of did like a little magic trick where she she disappeared. She passed without a trace. Uh, Tay, you could oh. see in the corner of your eyes Rocky doing his little furbalicious dance. I will add. All I can hear in my head is furbalicious playing. That's, that's what's <laughs> happening. It's, it's the Shirei Leo version. Um, yeah, let me note this down. Verbalicious. So the guards are now distracted? Yeah, the guards are distracted. Like, they're focusing on uh, the guy knocked out. What, when you're in the arcade machine, uh, Randall, you, 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 you feel a bit of sparks, um, like, explode around you. And, like, as, like, you, you are... You're, while you're inside this cabinet, you're like causing you're causing something to malfunction, um, but like you're not like it's not anything disturbing or anything or like uh, throwing you off. You hearing the door shut, you assume every you seem the uh, the coast is clear. Moran, um, you seeing Kano just as his chair. Um, Kano, you you as a chair underneath the blanket, you see one of the eggs you see that's one of those strange eggs that like um from that like exploded from inside the furby you um you see it you see it just begin to wiggle Ooh. as it begins to start pulsing and you can see it just begin to little crack as a strange spider-like creature makes its way out a tiny little spider creature that looks cute let's describe can it can i see it too Roll perception. Are, th are these all the eggs? Like these little yeah, eggs? those are eggs. You can't see those. Though. They're hidden amongst all the, oh, the clutter. Oh. Okay. oh, no. Oh, sorry. I've got to take that off. You you, you do see the spider hatch, uh, Kano, but like, so you don't need a roll perception. Um, if you want to see oh. as well, Randall, you can roll perception. Um, yeah, you see these eggs, this egg uh, hatch uh, at your feet, uh, Kano. And like, you feel this... You see this creature. It's like a spidery creature. And Randall and Moran, you you both can see this as well. Moran, you don't get to see it super well, but you can see like this, the shadows of a spider. In, a thing spidering underneath Kano. It's not too big, and amongst all the clutter, it's very like hard to like see. Um, but you can just about like uh, nope. get a glance at it. Um, does it look like a normal, uh, you know, animal, or does it look like yokai? You you've made an assumption. And I'll say, as as you as like as like in character, if like you can make that assumption as a player, you it would carry over. You do notice that like its legs are not disjointed, but like you can see some of the legs are sticking out of the other legs. And you know, yokai are some limbs grow out of other limbs, and spiders' legs don't grow like this. This is not a spider. This okay. is a yokai. Well, maybe. All right, if you think Moran would know that in her training as mm -hmm. almost a Neo. All right. I will... Hey, Kano. hey, Kano. Kano, get up. I take off the... I take off, like, the, the cloth I had on me, and, like, mm -hmm. I am, like, very angrily, like, pressed up against the wall, like, the, like, the little sit, the, like, wall sit thing. Yeah. Hey, come on. <laughs> Move. Uh, what? When... What? Kano, when you had a good glance at it, uh, how would you... How would you have reacted to seeing it hatch, Kano? And also Moran's yeah. sudden like panic. Yeah, it's all right. You know, okay. not not too shocked. Randall, you would also have seen it had many eyes. On the tiny body that it had, it was more eye than body. 
and like they're Ew. all just jittering and dancing nope. like around the entire, not... the entire room. You can see like they're more like uh, like darts, uh, dartboards is the way I would describe them, or like targets. These yellow like target uh, eyes just searching the room and scanning everything and trying like just make their way Quit into shit. the shadows. All right, you know, as, I, bad, as I like, right? stand up, I'm gonna, gonna step on it. Mm -hmm. Roll an attack. Sorry, what did you want to say, Moran? Oh, I was just gonna say, Kano, that's weird, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of attack? I'm just stepping on it. Yes, uh, strength check. Smoosh. <laughs> Wish. Oof. It doesn't have much AC, though, so you do squish it. And, like, it doesn't have much HP. And you just feel this. A little postile, postil is the way I would describe it. Squish under your feet or your boot as you squish it. And Moran, what are you freaking all about? Uh, you feel something cold on your foot for a second, uh, Kano. And Randall and Moran, you can see just this white fire pour out from underneath his boot for a second and flicker out of existence. Ah, uh, uh, was that the you. only one? <laughs> that was in character. <laughs> um, I'm gonna search for more eggs just in case. Are these all the eggs over here? You wouldn't be able to see them. You're, you're too focused I'm on. I'm gonna on the right, search right, right. around the room. Go ahead. Roll investigation. I will say it'll, it'll be a lot easier than earlier as you are looking out for them now. I am, and also I've got dark vision. You do. I'm staying in the room, but I'm staying far away from the eggs. Mm. Or just That's anything that, like, near where that was. As Moran, as you're searching... Oh, Moran, you now have inspiration, by the way. I'll give Ooh, you a little oh, dragon. How did I how'd I get that? Georgia has gifted... Oh, sorry, let me describe Georgia. It. You see amongst... Uh, amongst all, like, the plushies, you see this one tiny little lime plush in the corner. And you can just see this little, like, lime green spirit waft off it. And then just make its way towards you and swirl around you. And you can feel hmm. like it kind of gives you confidence in this in this sudden moment. As um, yeah. as you are looking and like as like that happens, you are still very focused in on all this like around you. And as you start moving things around, you can see there isn't this isn't this is a lot more than you could potentially handle, you think. As you can see amongst like there is eggs on everything every little crevice of like crate uh within inside some of the crates you can see some of these like leaking out of the the furbies inside one of the crane machines amongst all the webbing you can see just littering like it's like you'd imagine like if like you were looking from a distance you'd see these were all beads like like a thousand beads have like just like poured into one corner of like this like or the one side of the room as you can see this entire like wall is just lined in these eggs Randall. Yes. Do you have a breath weapon? I do. I'd like you to use it, please. Wait, what? Why? She points out all of the eggs. Hold what? on, hold on. Wait, shouldn't we, we, we use sh it? Shouldn't we report this to someone else before we get ourselves oh. in trouble by lighting this entire room with, I don't know, necrotic damage? How how that hold spreads on, around? Hold on, hold on. We can use this, can't we? Court. We can use this as like a big distraction or something when we escape. It's true. Oh. Hey, that's a good idea. Hmm. I like I, how I, Moran's expression went from angry to suddenly calm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am cur currently shook. You are. Do you you like shook it. at the... Oh, there's spiders. I, I pick up one of the eggs and like carefully hold don't it. Don't do I, I that! Can't. No, I, don't, I can't. I don't even have hands. Never don't mind. even put your hands do you, near that. Do you put your hand in though? Uh, like, I see one, like, right here. That I'm just gonna, yeah. like, separate from the rest. I'm just gonna try, like, cradle. As you go to try to cradle, you know, it, Randall and Moran, you see underneath his arm, tons of the eggs just on him. Underneath oh, his arm. Oh, gross. From where he went to pick it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Back like... On me? Yeah. I'm gonna get one of my hand axes out and just, like, start knocking them off his arm. Like, with the, the, with the blunt fuck? end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, if I can do my, like, kind of, like, if we need to do a roll for this at all, like, I'll do my ability where I can do the help. <laughs> so, all right, never uh, mind. That's gross. Yeah. I say you, you're happening? all just, like, scooching the, the eggs off him. I, you, you won't need a roll yeah. for it. 
you, you, I you, am I not doing it. I'm very, from very me. carefully. I'm very like, carefully on the, trying on the, on the, like, to decontaminate on, the, on, the, on the gold. On the gold. As you... Uh, oh, I start, like, rubbing them together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, you now have in, in inspiration as well. As you see the same lime green... Um, plush, like, you see another lime green plushie. Uh, in the same, with a little lime green archer coming in. Mm. Oh, look up one arrow. Yeah, you see a little, <laughs> you see a, a lime, uh, th like amongst, like there's like a bunch of lime plushies, and then like one, uh, the one that, um, another one, another spirit like latches off and makes its way towards you, swirls around you, and as like Moran is knocking them off, um, off, K off your gold, Kano, and Randall is also helping, but like being a bit more like from a distance and just <laughs> pointing at the eggs. Get it off, get it off. He's like pointing. <laughs> like, you see the, the lime spirit is like knocking them off as well. And as they hit the ground, they kind of explode and release uh. white fire, like tiny little sparks of white fire. All right. Well, we could use this for later, I think. Yeah. Like, we yeah, could cause, that's a good we could idea. cause guards to go in here and then they might hatch and then they'll get a bunch of eggs all over them. And oh, then... that's gross. And then we, yeah. we could make our escape with a huge distraction like that. That's absolutely a good idea. We can keep that in as a factor. We know That's... we know of a bunch of different escape routes in this in this prison too. Apparently, that are hidden away. So, what do we? Well, I mean, there's clearly oh, the mine sh sh and there's a point to the guards over here. Yeah, as you see him like discussing with this person here and like do you see this the person that's like talking does look in your general direction for a second but then like they just like carry off you can see like they like mage like you see them like create four mage hands of uh fire uh just like create a um like a sling and lift up this person that's been knocked out um and like the pool cue slides off them as they um make make their way back from where they came Looks like they, don't they, don't out, have, huh? they don't have fingerprint <laughs> technology in this universe do they no okay <laughs> don't worry i hit him with a book don't worry i, I don't have fingerprints <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> yeah but you see the guards leave they don't like they don't make it make much of a fuss and you can see rocky in the corner just like playing with something in the air but you don't know what he's playing with. You don't see, like... Yeah. You just seem... What are you doing there? And dancing. Hanging out. <clears throat> what are you doing there, buddy? You seeing some things? Uh, yes and no, I guess. Uh, what are, what are y'all been up to? Uh, well, there's Check spider eggs. The oh, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, I had a weird... Some, uh, some gross spiders in that room. It's totally yeah, I'm not infested. surprised. Not surprised? What do you mean? I mean, it's a dark and dingy room. I wouldn't. Well, I mean, but these these were like spy. These weren't just spiders. Like I don't know. I don't know. They seemed a little bit more than that. These are like, like gross dude. spiders, but like kind of cute if you look at them the right way. Oh no! I would say kind of the same thing about our friend here, but yeah. About which friend? <laughs> I don't know. Take that up. It's up to your interpretation of who I'm talking about. All right. About. Hmm. <laughs> Fascinating. Now, now what? <laughs> he like, he like, look, he like nudges towards where Kano's direction. <laughs> oh, what? gotcha. Uh, so uh, now I was curious, what, what, what's the I plan now? Well, uh, we could use that as a distraction to uh, get out of here when. Yeah. Kano. Oh. And <laughs> we got those parts, so if we could get some things to like blow up, we could, I could maybe make a bomb. <laughs> Are you saying this aloud, out of curiosity? We're saying it uh, in like in like a in like a hushed tone. <laughs> you guys are still about... listening, so like you you're like no one's even noticing you. To be fair, you might just see someone looking in your general direction from all the noise you guys are making, but like not from just like moving around and stuff. But like not actually. Like, Mind not, your business, side. They're not. They're not like they don't seem to like give you much mind. Like as soon as they just like check you that you're there, they go back to their business. From now on, I'm speaking code. Okay. The river runs through the prison tonight at midnight. <laughs> oh, we're doing it tonight? No, I don't know. River? To be fair, you you guys have like, you guys are able to like, spend some time river? like thinking about things. You can spend like days, uh, like if you wanted to sleep, you could. You you haven't you are unlocked to just one day of escape. Is there a river in this prison? 
There it is. So what the hell are you talking about? I think he's lost. Moran, <laughs> I will say you know a river does flow through the uh, the mountains, and like some of the water does come into this uh, into the prison. Well, in the shrine room. The, well, not a river it, per se, but I know how the the prison gets its water supply. Did you just accidentally come up with an escape route? That's called being a mastermind, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it let me get my smug face on. Look, you cool. all could come with me to the shrine, and we can have a look, and I can explain it. Sure, let's go. Absolutely. All right. I like how we just fumbled into an escape room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kaz, which way am I going? Yes, let me let me guide I you. I have probably learned how to swim. You don't know how to swim? Oh, I can't swim. I, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, you sink. Yeah. I think we discussed this during the chemistry one shots. I think a couple of us can swim. <laughs> oh no! You'd you'd be, you'd go through this um through these uh through this into the cell blocks, and then from there you'd like go up the the northeast corridor, and then follow uh and go north and you would, would reach a train. Yeah, you did actually go in the wrong one. As like you enter that, yeah, like you, before you go in, just give me a second, Kane. As you try to push that door open, it it doesn't let it budge. It's a pull. Oh. That's a pull door. That's a oldie <laughs> but a goodie. And I just it, nod to this this guard and just say, Jeffrey. Hey, 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 stop! You, hey, oi! That's it. Give me a minute. <laughs> just like oh, he's gone. gone. <laughs> hey, no, you're gonna <laughs> cause problems. Hey. What? You can't what? go through that way. Go I back. Did. No, back. No. Go back. Go back. All right. Nope. Uh, other way. Nope. No, you ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, lock the doors. That's hilarious. The doors lock. Okay, no, so you're stuck Wait, oh, no. in the tube. Oh, no. And Morana Rocky. Um, Taya, did you have your daggers on you? I believe you locked. You put them in the library, didn't you? They are in the library. Hanukkah, what did I do wrong? Did you have your hand axe? Uh, yeah, I sure do. Roll stealth. All right. You would have a plus That's 10. That's a 19. Yes. Nice. As everything is happening, uh, Randall, um, no one, they don't buy an eye as you and Taya pass through. But as, like, you make your way through, you see one fire genasi guard make his uh, way around and into the tube that you just left. And then block Rocky uh, and Moran and Kano on one uh, one side, and then the other guard blocks the other. Like they, you see them just like kind of step through the desk and through the wall. What? What I do? You you went through the wrong way, sir. Well, not even I'm sir. Going back so I could go through no, the you, right well, way. No, you go through the you go the other way. Well, how are we supposed to get there now? Are you blocking the way. Well, you have to wait there. Around through this commotion, what? they I like move closer. You see the guards like kind of holding a Guinness out and like kind of like uh, beckon you two to make your way through, letting oh, you both pass. Thanks. We're not with him. Um. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know. You got you gone. You gone back to your cell block. All right. Mm. I'm gonna go through. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, but, wait, block. actually, hold on, real quick. Mm -hmm. Before I go, can I try to cast a little sneaky guidance on Kano? Yeah. You, cool. as you pass by, in the shadow of the fire from his hair, you, I was like, kind. You see Hanako just like on the walls form and make their way towards Kano. Cool. And Kano, you'll have a D4 on your next roll, or on any other rolls that you want it to be. Uh, Rocky, you able to make your way through? I am. Alright. So who uh, who told you to be funny to go through the through the wrong tube? Huh? I don't I don't see why there needs to be two different tubes anyway. You're in one, you're out the other. It's a one way system. Keeps it keeps an orderly line. You know this. We told you on the first day. And then on the second day. And then on the first day. And then every other day. You should know this. I don't remember that far back. I'm sorry, guys. Well, Look, I just don't want to hurt you guys. How about how about, how about we we smack you 
back to a time where you remember. How, how does that sound? I'd like to see you try. Uh oh. Hold on there, friendos. Can uh, my friend is a little slow. Uh, can you let him pass again this this hundredth time? Oh, does yeah, this can guy? We, can we see this guy there? You could see through the glass uh, the glass windows here. Yeah. Can they does hear this us? guy get distracted by that? Like look away. They or can. Anything? Yeah, roll roll distraction or uh, put, uh, what's the um, persuasion, uh, Randall? Fifteen. They just they turn to look at you. Uh or the one the one guy in the back turns to look at you. But the other one doesn't. And the other one just goes to smack Kano in the back of the head. This one? Yeah, that one goes to turn to um to Randall for a second. As the other one goes to like with the flat of his Naginita smacks you in the tries to smack you in the back of the head. I don't have that. Right. Give me a second. Randall just goes, ooh. So, um, you are technically flanked. So, <laughs> luckily, wow. luckily, wow. it's, it's, it's Fuego rolling over. I was literally, you beat me to it. It's, a, it's what's happened. As like the guard goes to like smack you, he doesn't realize how like big his uh, Naginata is. And, um, and as like he goes to like twist, pivot it, it you just see like scratch against the wall and he gets it stuck. In As he does that, I'm going to retaliate and punch him. Go ahead. Alright. Oh. Roll damage. I'm going to give him like a left jab and like try to like fling him into this wall. Oh. We might have to make our escape today if cannon causes trouble. It's about to go down. I'm just gonna change the music. <laughs> if you guys would all like, if you all would like to roll initiative, you can. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Ooh, I suppose. I must. Oh, now you do it! Come on, oh, dude. man. I got. I, I had a five point one seven, but I didn't go in. All right, give me a second. The one and time I don't want a nat 20. 12 bludgeoning. <laughs> you, when you go to punch this one guard, you cause a lot, all, like, his entire chest splint to just cave in. And you cause I his... I do technically have a, a bonus, uh, a bonus action attack with martial arts and an extra attack, if you want me to do that. If you want to, you can. But yeah, you, like, as you, like, punch him, you break his split his uh, Naginata in half as well. And you just cause him to, like, collapse in on the uh, the scanning contraption and then oh my god this is for the bonus action just uh, an arm strike so like i like put like do like a do like a hook uh, to slam him to the contraption then i do like a jab into the gut and that'll be my turn for the before round <laughs> that's yeah, this one just like collapses. Are, is it non-lethal or are you being lethal? Uh, I don't think there is a non-lethal option for Kano. Mm -hmm. You just, <laughs> as you punch this one guard, as he's like in uh, fallen into the uh, the scanner, you cause the scanner to like collapse in on him as you like punch him again. And the entire like machine kind of caves in as it breaks. And you see a lot of the, uh, the machines and uh, the computers on the desk behind the wall cave inwards as if like there were some wires that have been like pulled and you can hear them just smash into the wall behind uh on your side there i feel like even if he did do like non-lethal he'll probably like break ribs and like puncture lungs accidentally mm -hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah this this gone this one's gone you guys just oh, see Kano kill this one guy and as that <laughs> happens you just see uh this one like 
without missing a beat, you just you just seem like put his hand in onto the machine, and you just seem like to start patting at the air around it as all the lights in this tube turn red, and the window that you guys saw gone. Uh, like it shuts, ah. a shutter, so you can't see into the room anymore. Cannon, this is bad. Randall, it's this yours. is good. I mean, like, I don't even know what I can do here. Um, like, can I try to? Oh, do I have anything <laughs> on me from these things that I just grabbed? Ah, shit. Yeah. I only have the crane claw. Is something that I can? I don't know. Like, can I jam that something? Claw. In the... <laughs> like, can I jam something in the door to try to open it? You can, yeah. Uh, roll... Intelligence, I'd say. Or wisdom, I think. Okay. 15? 15, yeah. As you're doing this, you see this guy who's reading a book. See this all happen. And, like, you... When you look... At the back of the, uh, at the other end of the cell block, you can see and hear, um, you can hear, like, more guards making their way. You can hear, like, an alarm blaring through the entire, like, um, the cell block as, like... Oh, God, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> as everyone else kind of, like, instinctively rushes towards the walls. I got a fist of the lucky sun. You did. You did. Um, I'm just about to, I'm just about to enact that. You can see all the inmates kind of like go towards uh, their blocks and like the blocks are like there's a magical uh, forged magic wall that is like iridescent and like it's like glass but like frost and you can't see through it. You can just see like the various shades of these um, these squares of magic uh, that are like folded in on themselves um, just rippling um, as these people like step into their uh, their blocks and they just like kind of disappear behind them. You see this one though that doesn't go into their room. They see you struggling and they they hear you mention uh, cannon. And then they, you see this one just rush towards you. And seeing the grappling hook uh, you lodge it in the hand, they go to help you. And they they kind of help you try prying the door open if you want to roll an advantage on that wisdom check. Oh, let's go, baby. Hey. Hey. With their help, yeah, you t both together, you just, like, pr uh, pry it open. And you just see this guy, like, push you aside, Randall. And you see him just start shrieking as he just starts running towards the fire just and jumps on his back. And grapples him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and just grabs You will be remembered! <laughs> and, yeah, he just, like, grasps onto the back of this guy. And you see this guy, uh, Cannon, and you don't recognize him. But you can see underneath his, um... On his neck, you can see the tattoo of a sun, and the um, the in like uh, these um, the ancient Shein symbols for the words lucky, and you know this is a member of the Hasume family who has just come to your assistance, and he's just shrieking as he's like holding on to this one guy. I'd shriek, but like I'm, I'd embarrass myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoa. Thank you, Randall. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, he's just like, just feral, a feral beast latches onto the guard. <laughs> I ain't afraid to embarrass myself. No worries. But yeah, what else would you have to do, Randall? I mean, I'll pop in too if I can, yeah. You can. I will also mention, uh, if you didn't know Moran, by the way, the way to the shrine is the north, um, the door to the, the, the topmost door uh, in, the, in the cell block. Thanks. Topmost door in the cell block. Yes, yeah, so like like this. So like here. I I this just one? literally moved. Up. No, no. Yeah, where you guys were pinging. Yeah, there. Are okay. Pinging it again. <laughs> that one. That no. one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, like when you pinged it the first time, I literally went away. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, I keep on like accidentally dragging my mouse super yeah. far. So it's I a, yeah, it's a big myself. It's a big map. Yeah, I. <laughs> in hindsight, I'm like, hmm, maybe this wasn't the best idea. But it's so cool. Nah, that's great, man. It's great. Yeah, it's I, I'll deal awesome. with it. Yeah. Everything, anything else, Randall? Sorry? Nah, that's good. Right. Taya, it's your turn. As you just see this guy, just push past Randall and then just just shrieking as soon as the door opened. And like the door, like, no. you see yeah. where the door like was pried open by the grappling hook. You can see the grappling hook, although like it's one of the hooks is kind of damaged it's still fairly or the uh, the uh, the crane hook 
uh, the claw is damaged on one of the claws, but like the other ones are like still fairly fine. Yeah, Taya, what would you do? Sorry. Are we fighting this? Cause you can hear other guards know. coming. As you hear, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack this guy up so that we can get out. So I'm gonna pass through the door of the grappling hook. If I can mm -hmm. fit in here, it's getting a little yeah. crowded. You're, you're able to scooch in. You're able to pass, squeeze through past each other. This guy's grappled, so you will have advantage on them. They're like being held back. Yeah, and I wanted. Well, I guess I don't have to do this, but uh, I wanted to try doing uh, assassinate, which oh. gives me advantage on a. Uh, advantage rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in combat yet, but I don't know if that's necessary no, if yeah. he's yeah. already... Basically, I think you, you have three advantages on this one guy. You have sneak attack it, it enabled, essentially, already. Oh, true. You, yeah, <laughs> you'd have You're the advantage of the guy. guy getting grappled, and now you have assassinate on the guy because he hasn't done anything in combat. He was focusing on Randall for a hot second. So yeah, you'd have your advantage regardless what you want to do. So do I press the weapon... Or do yes. I, like, roll first? You press the weapon, and then it'll roll the damage in chat. Okay, cool. We'll roll the attack roll in chat. You just narrowly miss. <laughs> oh, no! Like, as, as you're trying to, like, just, like, stop punching at the guy, the feral uh, fire genasi that is, like, grasping onto this guy's back is, like, con constantly just twisting him and swaying him and causing him to, like... Um, like move, causing you to like just be unable to like find a, like a spot where you will hit the guard and not the the feral Janasi. Hey, still for a second! <laughs> you just hear him shouting. Was. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess that's about all I could do. <laughs> Sorry, chef, that was too loud. Kena, anything you want to do? You see the splintered uh, my, Naginata my on the My initial was actually like five, so I mean, if you oh. want the others to go first, All right. uh, Say that's, less. that's cool. <laughs> Moran, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and find us a way out of this, like what we're going to do. I pop over for a second and I check the other door. Is it closed too? That one isn't closed. Okay. Got it. What do you guys think about us going just straight back to the common room after this? Bingo. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, something happened, you know? Two guards got in a fight. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, well, we gotta hide the bodies and then we gotta go to the common room. Maybe. Could you make up like an explosion with your breath weapon? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a great idea. All right. Like, can you, like, Here's melt what... him with your necrotic breath? I'm going to be as freaking convincing as I can. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cast Guidance on myself. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, call out into the common room. And uh, raise, she's going to raise her voice and go, Help! There was some sort of uh, accident! Roll... What's the word? Is it persuasion or deception? That's the one. Roll deception. deception? Yep. I'll do my best. You also have your advantage if you need it. You want to roll your guidance or you want to keep that? I'm going to roll my guidance. 19 19 seeing you rush in and panicking you can see all the the common uh the prisoners that are there they turn to you and like you notice some of them are um they've frequented the um the shrines a few times oh thank you so much for the gifted sub you're being whoever you are thank you i think it's i know it's one of you guys thinking you're slick anonymous gift it's you aj i know i didn't do it no <laughs> they gave it to me. <laughs> I know. But thank Gifted you. himself a sub? Yeah. Wait, yeah you want to be a sub? Aha, uh -huh, it's pretty sus, buddy. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Um, I would... <laughs> you, they they all get up and like kind of like rush uh, to help. And they rush towards you. Cool. 
That's gonna be my turn. Try and create a cover story. It is. Uh, Rocky, your turn. Um, <laughs> right. I can't really go squeeze in there right now, so that's gonna be a bit of an issue. So I would I allow you to, you because like you are able to pass into like your partner's space. Hmm. Um, there's two dudes in there right now. Yeah, uh, one is an one. ally. One is a, uh, one is like the guard. I also don't have anything to really fight with. Uh, you can punch. You can punch him. Fair enough. I'll, I'll go ahead and. Wait, what's going on with all these guys up here? What's happening? They're all um, running towards Moran uh, to help her. Aggressively? Nah. They got their their compa with with um. Is the word compassion? I don't know what the word is. I think compassion. I mean, compassion. Right. Sorry. Guys, I have a em plan. Empathy. <laughs> okay. It's basically. Um, I will run in and punch the dude. I guess. Why not? <laughs> you gotta, hey you gotta create a cover story, guys. Do your best. <laughs> now we have Wait. witnesses. The windows are Hopefully like you that's can't. Rest. Yeah, you guys can't see through these windows. Um, but yeah. So yeah, they're running towards you. What, uh, if you want to roll unarmed strike, Randall. I mean, um, Rocky, will you get advantage? Uh, what do I what do I roll for that? There should be any. a unarmed strike now in your thingy. I don't get one. Did I not? I longbow, katana, katana, and katana. I am a dumbass. Strike. Huh? If you want, if you want to roll strength for me or dexterity, because you, you are a fire. Strength. You said strength. And you get advantage. Oh, not say <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, not say it's just strength. Yeah. Oh, it's the same kind of issue. Like you all are getting pretty cramped in here, and like you're just trying to like swing at this one guard, but like there's no like there's no room, as the guy is just <laughs> swiveling, and the yeah. guard is gonna try and like instead of um. You all, you three are gonna get attack of opportunity on him, as he's gonna try and like uh, push himself through the wall with that magic that he had. But you all would get attack of opportunity as he tries making his way through. We all get attack of opportunity. Yep, everyone but Randall and Moran. I punch him with 10 damage. Guys, if you want to roll... Was the 17 yours there? 17 was mine, yeah. Okay. Uh, Taya, if you want to also roll damage. Rocky, if you want to do your strength check for me. Taya got 23, I think. Yes. No, yeah, Wait, that's, uh, you, you, that you... didn't do damage, was it? No, not that hit. That broke legs. Uh, how do I roll damage? In oh, chat. you have to actually, like, t uh, in chat, yeah. you just... Uh, when, the, when you hover over unarmed strike... Uh, you click the name of it in oh. under the 23 there. Cool. Taya, you... <laughs> as, like, Rocky tries to punch, the the guard... Well, I'll, I'll, do, it in, I'll do it in the order. Uh, Taya, you're able to, like, get a punch in just before, like, he, like as he swivels his body. Um, and you, like, thud into his side and you cause him to kind of buckle and, like, push him towards Kano, who kind of who punches him as well and cause him to, like, pinball back at you. <laughs> and like you just seem like fall through the wall as like all those hits and then Rocky just punches the wall as the guard like is there and like the fire genasi that was grappling onto him like he can't pass through the wall so you just seem like kind of like just get like thudded into the wall and then knocked to the ground knocked prone as he hits the ground and you see through the wall a uh, Naginata slash at you Kena is he still alive? he's still alive not for long. As he slashes through oh. the wall, you don't um you 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 see a Naginata come through the wall, but you are able to catch it with your uh, one of your golden hands. And you can just hear a very muffled um voice through the wall. Bring the ACO nines through the wall. What? So wait, what's happening here? This is a is this a wall here? That is a wall, yeah. How do you get through? 
he is able to use magic to walk through. Okay. So yeah, the guard is now. And, and his glaive went through the wall into into my arms. Yes, he he slashed. You saw his glaive like come through the wall, and then Akeem. And you you All were right. able to catch him. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And those of you in the cell blocks, you can see guards rushing towards you guys. Oh fuck. Oh boy. It is Kano, your turn. All right, now that I know where the glaive is coming from, I'm going to punch through the wall and try to hit him. Ooh. <laughs> roll strength. You want me to roll strength? Yeah, it will roll an attack, sorry. <laughs> well, you cave in the okay. wall. Like, it, it feels like it was already weakened from the initial strike where... Um, where you cause all the machinery to crash in on itself, and you can ask, like, amongst all the sparking and whirring, you are able to punch through the wall. 14 damage. Is he still up? As, like, you see him holding, like, this microphone up to his mouth, like a, like a walkie-talkie kind of contraption, um, you punch it out of his hand and cause his armor to, like, also buckle in as you punch out, uh, punch out his face, and you, and he just crashes to the ground. His armor in shambles. As you see, like the fire that is his hair just sputter out. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna as like everything as all the lights start blaring red. I'm gonna step over here and I'm gonna use my extra attack to, uh, to sun punch this one or solar punch. Dragon mm -hmm. sun bolt the the door to like mm -hmm. knock it off its hinges if I can. Oh, Ooh, that shit. can cover as our explosion. Oh shit, actually. You motherfucker. I'm gonna like do a leapy like punch out of the air and just launch it from my fist. Yeah. So yeah, you as you leap into the end, like punch this golden lion fireball out of your fist. You guys uh can you guys uh, the guys that are in the tube, you guys can see um a you and Moran you can just about hear the muffle of something explode and crash through metal and burn through metal. As you guys see this hole uh, open up from where Kano has um, has punched a hole through the door. That is. Is it big enough to like? It's big enough for all of you to crawl through. Oh, this door? That's a door. You yeah, you've already caved in this wall. Oh, did you want to crash this door? I was gonna do this one, but oh, I'm no. not sure if it's gonna, no. if it's gonna be this one. Let's go. Let's let's do that right, one. If you want to I'll, do that I'll one. change that one. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna crash through like continue okay. and crash through the wall. And then just barrel through, so that was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, here. You step into a room that looks unlike any of the, as you like roll in, you step into a room that's unlike any of the others in prison. Gone are the cold, sterile stone walls, and you've got a wood flooring, a warm colored uh, walls of, um, of like a pink, um, and a few screens here and there. That would display just like various bits of like just information that like the wardens have. And you even see a few monitors that display. Um, you can see over here these monitors display uh, security camera footage. And you can see in the footage, you see yourself looking at yourself through the monitors. What the uh, fuck? And you can see like sofa, uh, comfortable sofas and like these giant just like plant bushes um, in like pl uh, pots on the side. And you see this strange, weird machine thing that um has like a circle pad on the floor amongst like a metal grating um on a metal grated platform that like glows and like kind of creates like these weird tubes that like uh pulse upwards um and you can see like this these strange like um machinery on the side of it kind of clamp it in place and like you can see like they've got like different like just wiring and just just machinery and even though you've done a bit of engineering in your time this is Actually, roll intelligence. See if you see if you know exactly. See oh. see what you know about this. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> no fucking so. clue. I got you, zero. <laughs> you have no clue what this is. But you guys see my small oh my brain, my, my very smooth brain. Yeah, <laughs> you just see Kano just like crash through uh, the wall and then just like run through, and you can just hear. How does Kano react to all of this? Uh, like he's gonna like run in like very angry and then he's gonna like stop and like look around just what like very confused and that'll be my turn 
Randall, it's your turn. Let me see how far I can get. 5, 10, 15, 20. And the hole's right here on my left? Yes. Yes. 25, 30. And as you creep through the wall, you also see the strange am amalgamations of contraptions. Uh, and do I see, and I see where, like, do I see the camera stuff at all? Yeah, you see the monitors display, and you can just see you in the corner of the one of the monitors. Am I able to, did, from to deduce front. where this where this camera is being uh, yeah. taken from then? There's one camera that is in the corner of this room, uh, this corner. Uh, but the one, there's also one behind you, which is in this corner. Um, okay, so... In that case, yeah, I'm gonna pretty much, right where I am, uh, still go through with my pl our plan of doing my my uh, breath weapon, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pretty much attempt to just explode any of that technology that seems to be capturing any evidence of this. Okay, roll. Uh, oh, uh, you, you reach. How does that work? If you're doing your breath weapon, you'd reach. You 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 need. Yeah, it's like a 15 foot cone. You yeah. have like five. Yeah, that, that would hit this entire corner pretty. You much guys just see. Mm. Are you are you specifically the actually you you would get some of this stuff. So you destroy some of the machinery that is in front of you, uh, and all like the on the desk. But you also just hit this um this camera in the corner, and you just see like it kind of like fizzle and like melt as if like acid, um. As, as if acid is like uh, consuming it and like, it's just like kind of like turning into this tiny little just like melted bit of plastic as like you can see the feed that was of your back uh, has disappeared but you do see on the feed now is these strange hooded um, guards making their way down the hallway uh, you know this hallway is specifically the hallway that um is in the uh, school uh, in this uh, the education sector of the prison. I pretty much think you like, <laughs> yeah, Kato. We gotta we gotta get out of here, Kato. <laughs> the other the other way. There's there's something here though. What is it? I don't know. All right, I it's mean, that's some my sort of ad or thing. An ad. Pad? Oh, pad. Okay. Hmm. Thought you were talking about an ad. I was like, that's not really relevant right now, buddy. <laughs> There's like an ad for like, for like, for like some sort of Hello Fresh. What is that? <laughs> no, no, it's not yet. It delivers food. It's very handy. Shh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we haven't got our sponsor confirmed yet. Built in sponsors into a DVD <laughs> yeah, campaign. We're just that would actually be incredible. <laughs> I think Sam was saying was... that the other day. <laughs> yeah. Just drop random stuff. Yeah. But yeah, um, is there anything else you want to do, Randall? No, that's my turn. All right, Taya, it is your turn. Um, I don't know what our objective is to do. No, you just see Randall, like... Escape the situation. Yeah, you see Randall walk through, like, this wall. Oh, like, there's a crash, like, uh, like a hole now in this wall. And you can just hear, like, Kano making, like, just some, like, confused noises. Right over Ooh. here, is that open Whoa. or is this all like shut off? Right, like closed. Right yeah, that, now? that's that. That'd be closed. That's like up the like the metal gate okay. over it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and to open all, this. It's all gross and necroticy. Because I want to get away from all of those guards that are mm -hmm. coming from the right side. Go ahead, roll thieves tools for me. Or okay. uh, not thieves tools. Sorry, you'd get advantage on it though. But like, if you want to roll intelligence or deck uh, wisdom to try and pick the lock, or like just pick through it. And see if you can open. We'll do this. Oh! <laughs> She's done it. Whoa! You see Taylor kind of just like immediately as soon as like everything's happening, uh, Randall. You can see just behind you. You see Taylor just like get out the door and then a few little clicks, and then you see the gate lift up. Might have done this before. Um, you also, do, I think when you Ooh, made your way to the door, you did kick uh, one of the Naginata, uh, like the pole of the uh, the one guard that was snapped in two. If you wanted to, you could use that as like a short sword. Heck yes, I do. I picked that up. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll write that down and give you the weapon. Um, and I, I just call out it. I think we should go this way. Oh.
And I think that's the end of my turn. Nice. Naginata half. I'll put it in your inventory. It's like it's basically like you're you're holding like the the blade part of the uh the Yeah, the I see. Cool. There you are. It is now Moran, your turn. You can hear like all the commotion from your group and you did hear that noise of the, the door breaking and exploding. Oh gosh, okay. Um where am I seeing the guards? You can see the guards coming from the uh, other side of the cell block. Okay, the cell block side? Yeah. If you look towards the shrine, out. there's like a bunch of guards. Yeah. Oh, right. Thank you. I call out towards them like, Oh, gosh. That explosion was crazy. I hope everybody's okay. But she's not like super convincing, but she's mm -hmm. going to head out anyway. Yeah, I was blasted <laughs> all the way into this other room from it. <laughs> you can roll, <laughs> you can roll a perception for me. I mean, uh, persuasion. Sorry to just see if you can try and get them. See yeah, if see sure. Them, if they believe you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like whisper to, to Rocky once I'm over here. Get out of there. Uh... Oh, they, <laughs> the way the dice the way moved on that you. one. Yeah, the dice fucking launched. It. <laughs> <laughs> the guards do not even like look at you when you say anything. Wow, that sure was loud. Oh my goodness. Gosh. I don't know what we're going to do, guys. <laughs> Rocky, it's your turn. That's my turn. Okay. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> I, just, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'll i be frank. I'll go down this. Can I just... What's you... over here? Can I go here? You can, yeah. Like, you'd have to walk through this way, but, like, this is a wall until, like, this crashed area. Okay. Yeah, you can, like, and you see this, like, that, that melted hole. Up, right? Yeah, he's one, he's one of your, like, allies. Or <laughs> Kano's ally. <laughs> Wait, why are you going, why are you going into the place where we're gonna get caught? Come on out into the open room. I don't know what's in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> wait, then, wait, wait, wait. So... Tay has opened so... this door. Uh... Okay, then I'm just gonna go here. <laughs> Uh, it, there's no one that seems to be attacking us at the immediate at yeah. the moment, right? Yeah, all like the all the prisoners that were in here are making their way towards like the exit, the other exit. The exit. Uh, wait. So the other exit meaning? No, no, no. no. Back. So like they're like you're coming into the room, they're leaving, but they're leaving because Moran called them. Okay. I'll just go into the room. Mm -hmm. Can I walk? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm good. Is there anything y'all need me to do? I, I've just moved. Oh, wait. I have 40 feet of movement. I'm a monk. I just forgot that. You are. Uh. Yeah. Um, the guards now are going to do their turn. And they're going to make their way towards the wall. They're still a ways away. But they're making their way. Making a way. Getting out of here is our priority because I do not want to fight those guys. Although I do have a weapon now, so I'm I'm down. But not really into the idea of fighting. <laughs> no, no, no. And like Rocky, not you can all, not all eight of them. Yeah, you can see through the other tube. There are have awesome guards that have come in from the north side, but they're still like in the security tube still. But they're making their way towards you guys. It is now. Kano, your turn. All right. So where are they, Randall? Where are the guards? Where are the guards? Are they on the, coming from where we were going down to the east there? And I, I point. Yeah. I point this direction. I like push past past you. Ten, five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, and I'm gonna. Uh, fuck. Where are we going? I'm gonna. Oh, wait. Whoops. Where are we going? Uh, I mean, find somewhere to hide. I guess. Maybe back into the nook in the library or something like that. Try in there. Maybe we can use okay, I'm that. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use my action dash fire. Go ahead. All right. And that'll be my turn. All right, Randall it is your turn. Okay, I am going to. 
5, 10, 15. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to this guy and be like, thank you for your your valiant honor today. You, you, just, you did great. You just see him wheezing on the floor and he just gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> I don't want to ask more of you, but if you could please like either take the fall or just make up a good excuse about what happened here, that would be great. He gives you a thumbs up. Oh, you're and the he best. Had, he, like you. the slightest of feral noises come from him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take. I'll, I'll 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 pass the good word on about you to to Kano. Mm -hmm. Anything 25, else? 30. And can I dash on top of that, or will that be like an action thing? Yeah, to, yeah, I'll allow like you to that. dash. Okay. Okay, I am now here then, and that'll be my turn. It is your turn there. If I move and dash, that's 10, right? 10 blocks. You, how much is your speed? Let's see. 30. It is 12 blocks. So I can yeah, like. 12, block, 12 yeah. blocks. I think, right? Because it's yeah. six. I can yeah. go right here, right? Let's see. Yeah, you can get there. How do, how do I do that? Uh, you'll see underneath there's a magnifying glass, I think, or like, actually, you guys might be able to tell. Like, you'll see a ruler tool. Um, yeah, on the on the top left bar, there's the ruler tool, uh, and the top one is snap oh, okay. to center, and you go on top of the exam. There you go. As a rogue, you can like as a bone section, you dash, so you still have an action if you want to use it. I don't really think there's anything I want to do though. Mm. Yeah. No. So I'm just gonna make a mad dash for the library. <laughs> Alright. Moran, it's your turn. Alright. I'm going to... Sorry, I've got my ruler equipped. Moran's just... the only one with the guts in this group. <laughs> you hear just the feral reason of the fire genasi on the ground. <laughs> Poor guy. Good luck. One, two, three, four... Good yeah, luck, dude. Six. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. I dash as well. No worries. Hello, yeah. Moran. As you all are just that like was... dashing. That was really stupid. I know. Why'd they even try to fight me? No. <laughs> I mean, we could have gotten in really bad trouble, Kano. Well, we're still not out of trouble yet. We gotta keep on going. <laughs> Yeah, where, where do you guys think we should be hiding? Should we go either to the... We're, I'm going to, to the, the nook. Should we go to the nook or should we go to the storage room? Let's go to the nook. Okay. All right, Rocky. Go ahead. The nook? Which one is that? It's the uh, library. In the library. It's in the library. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then I'm going to dash mm -hmm. to here. You all are like just like... Dude. As you're like dashing, you're like just throwing the furniture. Like the furniture is in the way. Like you're leaping over. Cushions are flying everywhere, and you just blast. Oh, that's a trail, yourself. man. You just left a trail. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's very un discombobulating because, like, it is, oh, Did I, like, also... destroy this room, <laughs> but not this room, no, like, like this. Yeah, room, you, yeah. you, that is a mess. That will be locked. <laughs> like, as soon as like, like they get a chance, they'll lock that off. And, like, oh, but, like great. in regards to like <laughs> the um. The like these prisoners also when they were leaving or while they're leaving they're still leaving. Um, you you'll see they've created a disarray in the room as well as they're rushing out. So they're not in oh, this tube anymore, brother. So they've gone. Anything else, Rocky? No. No. All right. It is now the prison guards' turns. As you see or you hear, I could just move them like this. I don't think they'd reach in time. Yeah, they wouldn't. So like the guards are trying to like squeeze through, or you can just about see some of the guards through the glass, trying to make their way through. Uh, some of them do stop in front of the, the wheezing fire genasi. And you see from the north, you see more guards making their way. As you see one oh, just like step through the wall uh, near you, Randall and Moran, through the security tube. The other just like go, two of them go to open the door. Yep. 
Are they aggressive towards us in the room, or are they like heading over towards the commotion? They look like they're rushing towards the commotion. But you don't know exactly if they suspicious. Because actually, you wouldn't even know. Oh, mm, you wouldn't know. But yeah. Anything else? Uh, Kano, your turn. My turn? It is. Alright, I'm just gonna. Uh, I already calculated, and I'm gonna run all the way. Not there. All the way up here. And I'm gonna prepare to move that. But that was my dash, so I can't. I don't have another action. <laughs> Randall? I can only make it to the front of the door here. Uh, but during that, can I also make an insight check on the guards? Go ahead. Like, to see if, like, they are, like... Because that is scary. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. 17. 38. Nice. Are we, in, are we <laughs> in trouble? Are we in trouble? The guard that's walked step through is very focused on the commotion. But he does see you all running and then turn. And then as like he, he sees you looking at him, you hear his voice shout a boom, boom towards you. Why aren't you going towards your, tel your cell block? We're in lockdown. That, that area just exploded. I want to get as far away from there as possible. Roll persuasion. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it looks like an explosion went off, right? It does. 15. Yeah, it you are fairly convincing, considering as like Asia has mentioned that that is a fucking mess over there. <laughs> so yeah, they like that I think one. The goes... library will be a safe enough place. That one leaves you, Taya. It's your turn. Uh, I'm going to dash to the library. I think we should talk about whether we want to actually hide, hide, and commit to like escaping the guards or if we're all gonna chill in the library later no, they're never gonna believe to that I, I go to the library <laughs> try to figure out how to not like make the guards angry but anyway i'm moving <laughs> uh give me a sec i'm gonna get the music going again so i can get up to at least here um well excuse you yeah, I think I'll just, like, dash in. You've just been pushed around by both of us. This, this, this combat. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... For uh, now? If it helps on my next turn, I'm gonna, like, pull it so that there, there's, like, a... Yeah. Sort of, like, a here. Like, a little, like, angled... Like, the bookshelf goes angled so people can just run in straight into the hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, for now, I'm just chilling here. Cool. It is more on your turn. I thought I didn't right. turn the music on. Since the bookshelf is it's technically right here instead. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So are we just hiding in the library, Randall? I think the game plan is to go into uh into the nook we found earlier and then figure it out from there maybe wait for things to calm down well all right you think they're gonna try to check for us yeah i mean absolutely like roll call and whatnot and then be kind of confused whenever we're not there well we just gotta get back before that time all and right. moran is standing in front of you one second and the next second she is not just a pop oh, of smoke God. <laughs> I swap places with my echo. Why is everyone doing that to me? <laughs> <laughs> everyone just pushes right through you. Mm. Yeah, like, you I know, am here. Like a I am the captain. The smoke like wafts over you, um, Randall, as you do that. And Miranda. Oh my god. As uh, Randall. as Moran, you um, Jesus. as the smoke does. Uh, waft over you feel it holding your hand and like not dragging but like running with you towards the library cool also i realized that i used that move incorrectly i wasn't supposed to be able to do that forgive me i won't do it next time it's okay <laughs> this is a, it's a tense it really, you had a really cool moment yeah yeah i i forget that i can't summon and teleport on the same round my bad don't tell sam that unbelievable <laughs> 
So yeah, don't don't give me any reason to criticize Kaz on on Roro. Yeah, I, mean, I, I I'm not saying I cheat uh, with Yakko Knight. But... <laughs> Speaking of Roro, may... check out every Friday we play we play Roro with Kaz, Sam, uh, me, and Connor. But yeah, um, Rocky. Good night, Georgia. Good night, Georgia. Georgia. You're the night, best. Georgia. Bye. You're the... Bye. Bye, Georgie. Bye, Georgie. You bad dude. Yeah. Hey, um, Georgie. Hi, Georgie. Go on, Randall. It's your turn. <laughs> George, oh, okay. Uh, no, Randall. Sorry, it's uh, Rocky's. Oh. Sorry, ben it's um, Rocky Benjamin. Yeah, I told you that. the R names would do that. You're right. You're right. I guess I'll just head into uh, over here. I mean, start going into the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, like, I'd I'd uh, like to like hold the action as like Randall. Like I mean, Kane opens it up. Open. So I uh, know okay. it will be all good. All right. It is now. Anything else? No. Nah. It is the guard's turn, and the guards have stepped through the wall. This one's hesitant, and you see this one watch you, Randall, as it's like making its way towards the uh, the explosion, but they are eyeing you. While the others make a mad dash towards it. Okay, now it's your turn. Alright, I'm gonna move the shelf uh, so that everyone can just pile in. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna allow you all to, like, as the. Uh, Randall, roll for me. What would be, you think, to, like, be inconspicuous with this guard as you're running away? Like stealth, or mm. would that just be like the the defaulta? Yeah, I was I wasn't sure if like it would be something else. Yeah, we're all stealth. Huh? Oh come on, man! An you 11? like you stumble in as you're making way, in, and but like the guard is just watching you. Yeah. Um. I. <laughs> but he doesn't. I, 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 he goes back to I, looking. I, Watching the uh, oh. he doesn't he doesn't care what you're doing. He's, perfect, he's, perfect. he's you're just running away. But yeah. Anything else? If you want to do movement, you can. Yeah, but yeah, you all I'd allow you to all basically like pile in into the nook. As like this is all happening. Um Kano, um with the the, the wardrobe ajar, are you would you be closing it or would you be leaving it like I will be closing it. I I'm gonna make sure everyone gets in first, and then I'll I'll be the last one to go in and close it. I'm curious how you how you go about doing that. Uh, so am I. <laughs> Roll for me. Athletics, acrobatics. Athletics or acrobatics. Uh, one second, my my character sheet isn't loading. No. Worries. Why isn't my character sheet loading? Being junk. I, I can't access anything. Oh. Uh, if you want to roll just a strength check, I'll... I, 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 I can't access my character sheet at all. No, no, no. Oh, oh shit, yeah, you can't. Uh, roll for me a d20. And then plus five. Well. <laughs> As you... pour into the nook... You try to pull the door closed, failing to do so, and instead, like, you, you, you're you very clumsy with your new hands, and you completely knock the bookshelf over, causing oh, a heavy thud and crash, and it smashes into this bench, and you hear the bench break as well, underneath. It's okay, big guy, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> we can fix this. Uh... Help me lift it back up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is in smithereens. It's dust. Okay. Pull, pull the other ones. Pull the other ones. Pull the other ones. Yes, exactly. Good idea. Pull, pull, pull this, this one. one. Oh, okay. Oh, that was all the way across the room. I mean, sure. All right. We'll pull this. And are we like we out of combat? <laughs> you guys are in some still in still combat. So I will roll for me strength, uh, Randall, with help. It's 
13. God. You're dragging. And you're dragging. And you're doing your absolute darndest. And like, as the door opens, you are, you feel like you, you just, you saw the door like creak on you, you, you're very certain you saw the eyes of the fire genasi just like look at you for a moment as the bookshelf closes as you pull the book uh, the bookshelf the extra bookshelf as you pull it uh, to the side and close it in and we're gonna put you I in don't, the nook. i don't think we're i don't think we're clear and we're gonna end the session there oh, oh no oh my god oh. oh my god i'm gonna be thinking about this for the whole time <laughs> Like me and me and Randall, like just finished pushing, we, we both just look back, like still uh, hands on it, just ah, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like we can explain. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I oh. feel dead. <laughs> <laughs> Randall and I are so fucked, man. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> that was that was part one of Jailhouse Rocky. We're so fucking sorry, man. Forty-five seconds. Get it? You say you can stream in 45 seconds? <laughs> End the stream in 45 seconds. End the stream in 45 seconds. Why? You can do it, dude. Why? I don't Look get it. Time. Look at oh. the time. Look how long the stream is. I can't. I can't. I gotta, I gotta go through the sponsors. We're at 419, oh. 32, 419. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, I got you. I got you. Ready? <laughs> do you just leave the game? Are you, are you leaving the Discord call? No, 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, we're waiting. You do your thing, you do your thing, you do your right. thing. So yeah, um, <laughs> thank you guys for playing. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shout you guys out before we, we, we end the, we end the stream and I'll let you guys know when, when we're next doing this. Beautiful. All right, that's good enough for me. That'll do. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. That'll do. But yeah. Thank you for DMing, Kaz. Thank you for yeah, playing. Thank you still want to raid into Rift Waltz? Cause... Yes, we do. Uh, I will first go into discuss the sponsors. But before we do that, we're going to shout you guys out because you guys are all amazing. You're fabulous and I love you all. So oh, we're going to... Thanks, great... Kaz. <laughs> I sent it to you, Kaz. Thank you. Um, hey, Jacob, tell us about you and where we can find you. My name's Jacob. Uh, you can find me in my podcast. Uh, no, you can find <laughs> yeah. me in my podcast. I'm a little tired. Uh, you can it's find okay. me just very mundane. Mm -hmm. um, it's the only podcast on the internet, it and is. I, um, we do we talk about things, uh, normal, regular, mundane things. Yes, uh, you can also find me on YouTube, but I, I, I don't post there anymore. You can look at things I posted. You can figure it out. <laughs> That's it. It's okay. Yeah, go check. Go <laughs> check out Jacob. Um, <laughs> give him all the support he deserves. It. Next, we're gonna go with McClunky Squadron. Uh, Jake. Uh, actually, no. We'll do the podcasts. Sammy, tell us about yourself. Sup? I'm Remove Sam. I do a <laughs> podcast called uh, "We're So Fucking Sorry," and that's the official tune. We just—it's. Mm -hmm. I just made it official now. If you like non non nonsense and podcasts, that's a thing you could watch. As you Listen can see, <laughs> everyone is very much a drain. So yeah, I'm not gonna like we're, we're, not, we're not gonna we won't we won't be super long about it. Next is Epi. Um, I can be found uh, at Epixel on Instagram, on Twitter, etc. Um, I mostly just do art, but I'll be back here again for the second episode. Mm -hmm. Uh. Thanks for DMing, Kaz. I had a blast. I'm I'm glad you had fun. I I had I it was an absolute pleasure. Um, next is McClunky Squadron, AJ and Sam. AJ, you do I, AJ. I did the intro more. You did the you did the outro. Okay, I'll do I'll do the outro. Uh, hey, I, I'm I'm AJ, uh, also known as the Lost Chef sometimes, and uh, I'm with McClunky Squadron with Sam and Kaz is there sometimes. We Hi. got Connor, and we do a bunch of stuff. We do games and. And talk about movies and uh, TV shows, and and we do D and D on Fridays. Check that out every Friday. It's gonna be rural. It's really fun. Uh, Sam DMs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's just a blast overall. And we're gonna we have so much stuff planned for this. We have so much stuff to like do on the channel. So yeah. check it out. We have we have a lot in store. 
Yeah, we're gonna get eventually, like, AJ's gonna have a campaign. Like, eventually, I think down the line, after a few years of DMing uh, for Connor, I think he'll eventually want to yeah. start streaming his own thing, so oh, I think God. that would be awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah. Go, go, go check everyone out on all their things. Uh, I'm gonna move us into the end card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chat with my players for a hot second, but then I'm gonna talk about our sponsors and then guide us into the raid. Uh, so if you're sticking around, thank you. If we don't see you at the end of, um, uh, with the in into the raid, thank you for being here. I hella appreciate it. If you've been lurking or watching the VOD, thank you for giving us your time. Um, we will next be streaming uh, part two on. Where is the date? Mm, McClunky? 31st. The 31st Ooh, is blush, July. everybody. Oh, oh. oh Everyone oh, do blush. Ooh, blush, guys. Second. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Ooh, blush. <laughs> <laughs> well. Right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be next uh, streaming 31st of July. Uh, same time like normal. If you want to keep up to date with all the things, go check out the Discord. Um, one, it's a wonderful D&D not community. Two, it's got a bunch of really cool people like these guys over there. Uh, next, if you want to catch up on Throne Top Sands and learn about all the things about Rocky, for example, and just yeah. just the story and stuff, go 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 check it out. It's a wonderful non-Eurocentric uh, setting based on J Japanese and Indian uh, mythology. It's a blast. I am not biased at all. You're lying. Um, what is the next? By the way, are our are our heads not updating, or what's up with that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. I was just noticing that too. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. There you are. Oh, your beans, the luddiest. Look at you, ooh, blush. Look ooh, at you guys. Blush. Look at you guys, guys sweeties. You, you're all beans. Um, yeah, throwing us up sands. There's a Discord. If you enjoy the art that's been on stream, that is not two minute tabletops, such as the tokens, the character art, and all the things. Come, come check out my art, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, but also check out everyone else's art. Everyone else here is a wonderful bunch of artists. But yeah, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna just chat with uh, my, 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 my beans. And then, <laughs> but yeah, you my my uh my you you me when me when you me when yeah we'll we'll see you in a second bye bye so, you say say bye, bye. guys bye <laughs> bye guys.
Bonsoir. Hi. Um, yeah, no, that's that was crazy. That a lot, a lot of whoa. <laughs> like I don't know how to like. I'm 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 reeling. Is, is the way I'd put it. Um, but thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for being a part of this. It has been an absolute blast. Um, and I'm glad like, people were interacting with the chat stuff because uh, there was some really fun stuff there. Um, so I'm going to talk about the sponsors before we leave. So the first one is Bard RPG. I did art with uh, with them, uh, with Scriv and the group. And it's a um, it's a TTRPG compendium or as, as, as a tool used for... Um, that's genre agnostic and uh, game agnostic, so you can basically bring it to any game that you you play that's a TTRPG or even on on its own to create a um, to create a compelling narrative and like build um, a cool story with uh, with like a group of characters because it isn't just like a single player thing; it's a cooperative thing. But I think there is also tools for single player. If you are intrigued in that and are interested, go back to the Kickstarter. Go look at it. Go go support everyone uh, on the project because there's some wonderful people working on it. It is live for another week. I, this is the last week. Um, so go go check it out. But it will be like, there will be stuff still. Um, but yeah, go, go, go do the things. Next is Dice Roll, which is a local dice company. Uh, they do a bunch of cool gemstone, metal, and resin dice that like are wonderful, cheap, and beautiful. And if you want to go check them out, go go support them at uh, diceroll.uk slash casadm. Because we have an affiliate link and I didn't put it in the command because I'm a dumbass. Um... But yeah, go 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 support. It's it's they they do some cool stuff. Next is Phoenix Dice, who also do dice, uh, but they also do some TTRPG accessories. And if you want twenty percent off your purchase, use Task Twenty Twenty Two. Finally, uh, from the 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 D and D ones at least, there is um, Games by B, who do D and D accessories such as dice trays, bags, patches, and pencil cases, and they're all cute as hell. They're and they're wonderful. We did a giveaway with them a while back actually. They it was wonderful. And if you are, and if you're interested in that, and you want ten percent off your purchase. Use Task Twenty Twenty Two uh, as a, uh, the coupon code at the end of the at checkout. Next is uh, Just Very Mundane, who uh, is Jacob's podcast, one of the two only podcasts to ever exist. It's hilarious, wonderful. You you you've seen an example of why Jacob is hilarious, and go check him out when he's not role playing as a character. I love you too, sir. Uh, next is We're So Fucking Sorry, which is the other podcast in existence, which is uh, Sammy's. And her and Lu Lucy and her, uh, they, they're they hilarious. They And it's a wonderfully random uh, uh, podcast where they just talk about, like, just, just, just they, they, they try to stay on topic, but, like, they, they, have a, they have a wavelength, and that wavelength sends them into weird, wacky, wonderful, chaotic places, and it's grand. Go check it out. And finally, Georgia Marjorie, who is... Lone Nico, Georgia, uh, Georgia's uh, player. Uh, um, Lone Nico, Lone Nico's player, Georgia. Uh, she makes beautiful jewelry. She uh, she's a jeweler by trade, and she does a series called the Silver Dragon's Horde, which is a collection of D and D themed pe uh, pendants. Um, there's a dungeon master, a ranger, I mean a rogue and a fighter, dungeon master, rogue and fighter, and they are wonderful. I need to grab a set myself, and you should grab a set. They're wonderful. But that's everything. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to go... If you want to go support... Um, we're going to go raid into Rift Waltz, I believe, because they are doing a charity stream. So we're going to... We're going we're gonna to go raid them and give them all the support. So I'm going to just do this. Raid. Rift. Oh, I do this. And that's not it. Rift Waltz. Yeah, there we go. And so yeah, if you want to support them and support us and like just let them know you we we sent you, here's here's, a, here's our vibe check. Let's let's give them a vibe check. And if you are subbed and you have emotes, you use use these. But yeah, thank you so much for giving me your time. I will see you. Next stream will be Tuesday, maybe. I'm going to be doing something chill. I'm thinking I want, I want to play Noble Fates. Uh, I I was given a stream key, and so like I'm, I'm, I want to I want to give it a go. I uh, So we're not going to be doing art. We're going to just have a chill little time. Uh, so if you want to go hang out when we do that, check out us on, on Thursday. Um, 
not Thursday, on Tuesday. Um, and then on Thursday, we'll be doing art. I'm going to probably change my time, test my times uh, in the afternoons. Uh, we'll see what's up. Um, and then we'll see you on, but if we don't see you on then, hopefully we'll see you on Sunday where we do the next session of Throwing Us Out Sands. But if I don't see you then, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. See you soon. Bye.